All right, hello everyone, and peace of the Lord to all of you. And his name is the glorious, and his name is the Christ. Uh, let us invite our friends and let us do the good work for today. Um, <clears throat> now, for sure, uh, we are celebrating uh, Christmas time, and uh, Christmas time is wonderful, right? And many of uh, people who don't like Christianity to be around, they try their best to fight Christmas. But the funny, the same people who fight the Christmas are the same people who celebrate the New Year. Hmm. I mean, look at the hypocrisy and the madness and the stupidity. They don't want you to say Christmas, but they are celebrating the Year of the Lord. So I found that some people, they have a mental illness, you know, because if you reject Jesus, why you are celebrating the new year of Jesus? I advise you not to celebrate it then. Stay home. Stay home, go under the blanket, and cover your head. Uh, <clears throat> however, the new year for us as a Christians, it should not be, and wasn't be, and wasn't for party or dancing or drinking this is a wrong way to celebrate you know uh, there is many people that, that, that this uh, like um, actually not I mean nothing new <clears throat> people always they uh, it's easy to make them go and uh, shake their ass and uh, or go crazy or and I'm not not saying anything wrong with dancing but you know what I'm talking about. There are some places are not really meant for dancing. It meant something else. So, a music, music is something good, and uh, God He made us uh, react to the music. But the music should not be evil. Should not speak evil. Should not teach evil. So anything will lead us into evil. That is not right. As simple as that. And I think most of us, we agree, right? So music is beautiful, as long as we say beautiful words. But the music full of the F word, and racist statements, and hateful teaching, and violence, and disgusting stuff, this is not the music no more. This is a devilish music. So you want to enjoy your life, enjoy it in the right way, and clean your mouth as much as you can. The Lord, he said, is not what go inside the mouth will make you dirty. It's what come from your mouth. It's your mouth. It's your words. And whatever you say is going to come back to you. <clears throat> there are some people, they cannot even say two statement without saying the F word. I mean, is that going to make your statement better, nicer, wiser? No. So why you use it? So let us, for all of us, you know, the new year is coming. Let us make a change in our life for better, for good. You see, my life last year should be not better than the coming year. And better here is not about money or it's about me changing for better. Because, you know, uh, what can happen in the coming year, it can be good, it can be bad, you know, it can be a health problem, it can be whatever. But there is one thing you can control. That is what you say with your tongue. So maintain your tongue, my friend, because in the judgment day, your tongue either will take you, take you to hell or will take you to heaven. Now, we go back to our topic, which is about Islam. Uh, always, you know, yesterday we have a video to answer uh, this, this kid, uh, Hijab. Who, by the way, his last name is Veil, and yet he was making fun of me, saying, Christian Prince, he speak from behind the veil. You know, the problem of Muslims, this is why they don't debate me. Because they knew that whatever they say to me, I'm going to get them busted. How many times heard me saying, think before you talk to me, because anything you say to Christian Prince is going to be used against you. So when you Muslims uh, speak about hijab and say Christian Prince is speaking from behind the hijab, 
actually if you go in the Quran you will find that Allah will put your prophet behind the hijab supposedly in the judgment day does that mean he became a female for you so when a Muslim he make fun and so obviously they are making fun just because they don't want to debate me they are making excuse we will not debate him as long as he don't show his face this is the same excuse Zach and Naik he said the same excuse all of them they come with which is silly and stupid because people are not interested in your face and my face people are interested of your intelligence and how much knowledgeable you and knowledgeable you are and what you can say we want your answers you, you see um, when he have a debate with David Wood the only thing I remember about the debate is a video a short video somebody posted of hijab camping his hair which is funny look like a monkey in the stage I mean you could not even hold yourself from he opened the tablet he turned the camera on and he started camping his beard slow motion beard I mean obviously you you are the one who take care of a look you know for you is maybe you are going there to be uh, uh, noticed by girls for me nobody knows who I am and I get the blessing of nobody glorifying who I am they don't even know my name Christian Prince one day will die and nobody will know even who is this guy so you see the Lord he said when you do with the right hand don't let the left hand know so I do my best with the right hand and the left hand don't know the Quran speak about Allah <coughs> that Allah never spoke to any human being except from behind the veil and the funny hijab he said maybe Christian Prince is not a human <laughs> maybe he's not even exist you watch the video yesterday right we, we made you hear it you know so he said maybe he doesn't exist maybe he is not even a human okay well how come you don't say the same logic for your God your God he never spoke to Muhammad never saw Muhammad Muhammad even never heard his fart yet you believe in Allah and you are defending Allah and you are fighting for Allah and he will notice the the hypocrisy of the Muslims they make fun of you if you are speaking from behind a veil but their God himself the one they worship 24 hours seven days a week bow down up and down up and down up to, you bow down every day for someone you never saw and you are the one who said to me how we can be even sure that you are exist maybe it's not even a human maybe it's not exist who is your God then so always the Muslims they bring shame to their religion and they make fun of their God without noticing and this is why they don't dare to debate me now I'm going to open my Skype and again for the Muslims only and uh, if you notice in Facebook I blocked my email I, I will not receive email from anyone no more because I'm getting a lot of silly stupid emails and I don't want uh, it's taking too much of my time to answer stupid questions or stupid comments enough is enough <clears throat> too much headache uh, and in Skype is no better really but in Skype it's easier I just don't even open anyone who send me a text I will not read your text you want to talk to me call me and you call me only when I am live on air I open my Skype I found like 2,000 texts you think I can read them all so the one who want to talk to me feel free all right Uh, now our Skype is open and only Muslims can call only Muslims can call do we have any Muslim would like to call us do we have any any Muslim who believe in Allah Anyone? All right. 
Well, you know, you, you will see, they will notice that Muslims they are not really confident about the religion unless they are debating their own, which means the Muslims, he always debate himself and he win the debate. And if he debates somebody who do not know Islam, neither Christianity, that will make them feel good. And if you are a person who is very well versed, they try to make a comedy or mockery of you in order to make themselves look like winning, even though they are losing big time. So whatever kind of a Muslim you are, please, please feel free to call me. I don't care. If you are a mockery person like uh, hijab, I will treat you what you deserve. And if you are, uh, you know, a person who speak with respect, we speak to you with respect. So be whoever you want. I mean, I cannot, you know, tell you what, uh, uh, what you need to say, what you should not say. Speak of yourself as much as you want. Uh, you notice yesterday in the video we made uh, this uh, hijab he said that Allah is not divided and this is why he refused to say Allah has parts but this is stupid of him to say because none of us said that Allah is divided because he has parts you know our parts is not really or necessarily is separated from us my hand is part of me but it's not separated it's not I'm not divided very silly argument and the whole idea is to avoid answering the question which we which we rose and we question how Allah can have uh, her hands and foot and leg and eyes etc but yet the Muslims they say that how you worship a man okay who is your God he's not a man okay but who is he they don't know what we know that Allah have a hand Allah have a leg Allah have eyes uh, Allah have five fingers and he have two hands in the right side so all your oppose is opposed to what exactly? Your God is a physical being. My God is not a physical being. You see, when we say God, uh, uh, we say Christ is our Lord, we are not worshipping the man who became God. We are worshipping God who has exist before he came to us as a man. That's why Jesus, he said, before Abraham I am. So his existence have nothing to do with him being born in the flesh of a man. But now the Muslims, they have a problem. They have a God who he is a man. Or let us say, maybe he's a beast. Because you see, you know, when we say beast, what beast mean? Beast is, is something, it's a creation which is not from mankind. The funny, the Muslims, I just saw a comment in Facebook, a Muslim, as she was saying, <clears throat> how you worship God who eat. So if you don't eat, you are God. Hmm. I have, I saw many idols uh, who don't eat. And the black stone does not eat. Is that why you kiss it? Is that why you Muslims you believe that the black stone forgive your sin? Hmm? Maybe is that the reason? Because the black stone doesn't eat. The Prophet said, from Abu Abdul Rahman. A person said to him, Oh Abu Abdul Rahman, why I do only see you touching these two corners, which means the corner of the black stone and the Yemeni corner. Yemeni corner is a corner have stones similar to the black stone, but it's not making a shape, it's just a stones in the wall. And those are stones brought from Yemen. That's why it's called Yemeni corner. Uh, the Muslim they say it's facing Yemen, but it's facing Yemen for a reason. Because those stones are coming from Yemen, from the Makkah temple, which is the moon god temple. So if you touch those two corners, the prophet said, touching them erase sin. Isn't it this is a pure paganism? There's a hadith, but for sure the Muslims, they will say it's weak. The hadith says that the black stone 
is the right hand of Allah. <coughs> see if we can find it for you in English. And that explained to us some of the madness of this cult. How a black stone became the right hand of Allah. Actually, I don't agree with this. I believe that the black stone was only the vagina of a lat. If you remember, there's a hadith and for sure, if you try to find the reference in English translation, the translation doesn't say any of that. If we go and search in the hadith, we will find the following. Once Abu Bakr, he was arguing with somebody who don't like Islam. So what Abu Bakr, he said to him, and I challenge any Muslim to say I'm lying. By the way, if we if we read in English, we don't find this in English translation. It's gone. In Arabic, it says, "فَقَالَ لَهُ أَبُو بَكْرٍ أُمْسُسْ بَذْرَ اللَّاتِ Suck the clitoris of a lad. Go and suck the clitoris of a lad. I challenge any Muslim to tell me what and how and why Abu Bakr he say suck the clitoris of a lad. And I challenge any Muslim to say to me I'm lying. Right now, right here, live on air. My Skype is open. Any Muslim? Yeah, the lat, the lat, the lat, the goddess, lat, the goddess, one of the goddess, you know, the goddess of fertility, of sex. And that is obviously the black stone. The black stone is a vagina. You know, if we go right now and search in, in Google, I mean, it's not, you do not need to be a genius to notice that there is something fishy about this black stone. Let us go to <clears throat> Google, peace upon him. All right. I mean, a little look, you will notice right away that there is something wrong with this stone. The shape. Do I need to explain to you details? I mean. <laughs> and now that makes sense, right? That makes sense. The shape of this, even the frame of this stone, the way it's made, you know, obviously, this is sexual. And we showed you before, if you have my book, Sex and Allah, if you remember, um, we showed you with the reference how the Arab before Islam, they used to go around the Kaaba totally naked. And the women, why the black stone became a, a, a black, the Muslim, they tried to hide the, the fact about this. They say the sin, the sin of mankind uh, made it black. But this is not really what it is exactly. Yes, it's the sin of mankind, but what sin? Women, women, before Islam, they used to go to the black stone. They put their hand on their vagina when they have their period. And then they place their hand inside the black stone. Because they believe, because they commit sin, they are not getting bread net. And this is why the black stone, or they believe in the God of fertility. Yeah, I hope you are a Muslim, the one is calling. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Good evening, children. No, I'm not a Muslim. Uh, I'm a Christian. I just need five minutes of your time. 
Well, we I want Muslims to call us, but I will consider this time a mistake, you know, because always we yeah. say no. what time, you know, when, no, when Christians your, can call. No, I heard your life uh, that you wanted to speak to Muslims. Yeah. Actually, I am born Christian, but I was I was born and brought up in Saudi Arabia, uh, and uh, I really never had an inclination towards Christianity because you know I was born over there. I was I lived 18 years of my life in Saudi Arabia. I'm basically from I'm an Indian, but I was born and born, brought up in Saudi Arabia. Okay. So Islam was my first religion. I was not born into it. I have not learned it, but since everybody around me was Islam, so was Muslim, uh, I had I I liked. Uh, their religion, mm. uh, especially uh, what they told me, what I've learned uh, was all good. From what, like what? Uh, what? Like what? What they taught you? Uh, the way they used to interact with me, the way they used to say about their religion, you know, like uh, in schools and all, they don't teach uh, uh, details about everything. You know, they don't teach what? So they don't teach uh, de very much in details about um, Islam. So. All that, all my friends, everybody. I never heard of somebody. He study in Saudi Arabia, and they don't teach in details about Islam. Because as I know, there is six class during the week of Islam out of twenty five, I think. So how you did not learn too much about Islam in a country? Teach six yeah. classes a week. You know, when we say so six classes, uh, doesn't mean just six hours. That's six yeah, subjects. Okay. okay. Uh, so how yeah. does it happen, please? Yeah, uh, I was I studied in international Indian school. Uh, oh, it was okay. run by Indian embassy. So, uh, so yeah, but this is not a Saudi but, school. Then this is not a Saudi government school. No, it's not the Saudi government school. Yeah. It's run by Indian okay. embassy. Okay, my friend, uh, let, let's let us uh, let us go to the to that. Uh, so, what, you, do you think Islam is a good religion or not? Uh, right now, after a few of after watching your videos for the past four four five months, I really do. I have. I mean, I have a change of heart. I don't really believe uh, like uh, what I thought previously is the right thing right now. Okay. Uh, so did like you decide? Not... Did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? No, no. I am. I am a Christian. I have oh, born okay. and born oh, okay. Christian fam. So you are saying uh, to me you are a Christian, but you know because of what you saw, you thought it is a good religion. Yeah, and uh, I didn't. I didn't learn about Christianity for the first eighteen years of my life because mm. Saudi Arabia and. So, my friend, uh, you live in Saudi Arabia. Arabia. You live in Saudi Arabia. Did you ask yourself why women cannot walk around on the street in Saudi Arabia? Uh, no, uh, like I said, I didn't know anything about any other country. I know, I know, I know. But still, I need to ask myself: if this country is a good country, if people there yeah. are, are are believers, what will make women insecure to walk alone in the street? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, like I said, uh, when I was in that country, I never thought about it. But mm. when I came back to India, where everybody is free to go, free to walk, and they can do whatever they want, even even there's no discrimination against gender, mm. uh, then I felt like okay, uh, Saudi Arabia was like a jail to me. Uh, like you, you can't have any kind of freedom. You can't have any kind of uh, mm. um, attainment outside of your house. You're not supposed to do anything outside of your house, even if you wear a, a cross. Uh, um, we are, I mean, uh, the, the Muslim boys and all who used, they used to harass us. But we, we all thought that it was fine because it's their country and uh, okay, so we thought it's all fine. Okay, let, let us not to question now, my time and your time, my friend. Here we are, to, we are here to debate about Islam. Uh, I, I respect your, uh, you know, your experience and etc. and what you went through, and uh, you know, watch more and learn more. Anything else you want to say? Uh, uh, Yes, thank you. Thank you for thank your you. videos. That's right. your only reason for your Christianity more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, let us guys, uh, you know, uh, here I'm, I'm trying to speak to Muslims so we can debate with them. I respect your experience, but there is something always we need to ask ourselves. You see, I'm a person since I was a kid. I am a deep thinker. I don't think about things maybe like the rest of many of people my age. When I see people in a, in a country that a woman, she is not allowed to walk alone. If we ask why, they say because it is not right. Okay, why is not right? Because obviously she is a target. Because this society made the woman nothing as a human, but she is just a vagina as the black stone in front of us. So when in this country, because it's a corrupt religion, 
when they see a woman in the street they don't see a human being they see a vagina a walking vagina it's like somebody is hungry he did not eat for a month and then he see a chicken walking by he don't see a bird he see a barbecue chicken his saliva will start coming down and this is telling us that this society Islam did not create a healthy society Islam created a corrupt sex addicted society as simple as that if this is a religious community and the Sharia law is implanted then we should not be worried about women walking alone on the street because all are believers and they should be good and women are secure and nothing will happen to her why a woman in USA she walk alone she go do shopping she drive her car and nobody jump on her and they are not supposed to be religious as the Saudi yes in America we have a like a, gr a great number of Christians like Sunday today if you go to any church you will not even find a place to park your car America is not like Europe but still you know there is other religions there's other groups there is a Hindus there is atheists there is etc there is there is but women they go in the street and nobody and actually in America if you just say a sentence to a woman let us say you saw a woman and she is beautiful and you say to her wow sexy huh if they got you busted they will they will register you publicly as a sex offender just for doing that you are a sex offender which is a big humiliation for any man and it's a crime actually Muhammad when he saw a man a woman in the street what Muhammad he did he stared at her stare at her until he arose until almost he is going there and then he left his friend in the front of his house he went to his wife inside the house and she was tanning leather and he had intercourse with her and then he claimed that women they come by the image or the advance in the image of the devil the shaitan and they retreat in the image of shaitan but who is the shaitan here here you will see the hypocrisy of Muhammad if I am a man who saw a woman and the woman she is doing nothing wrong she just walk in front of me and I claim that because I get it she, she you know I get horny she is the reason and she is the devil this is the mentality of Muhammad where he is the devil but he blamed the women that she is the devil and look here how insulting it is even to God because who is the women attract who made who is the one who made women attractive to men anybody can give me the answer who is the one who made women or created the women to look like this to be attractive to men isn't it God so why you don't say God is the devil it's not her fault if if uh, I don't want to go in details I don't want to be like a, a low uh, class person but we are speaking about uh, you know I mean religion and so we have to go a little bit in details so people will see how silly it is if a woman have a breast and the man is attractive to women a breast now who is the one who made the women have a breast and who is the one who designed the man to be attractive to the women a breast isn't it God so why you are blaming the women but you don't blame your God you know what I mean guys this is hypocrisy and the women she did nothing wrong I mean if she was walking naked in her bikini in front of him and he is sitting in front of his house and he was wow look at this man she is exposing her nakedness it's just a woman walking by wearing Arabian clothes and she is a Muslim too which means obviously she's doing even a burqa So wearing the burqa did not make Muslims better men, right?
somebody asking me uh, uh, what do you say about Osama Duck Dog? do you think he is like what you about I mean what does this have to do with my topic guys you know sometimes we have a flight of thoughts people they are taking too much hashish and they send me a message suddenly what do you think of what somebody told you I am God People are people. What do you, what do you about? Is a good person too. Sometimes he make mistakes. I make mistakes. Doesn't make him an evil man. I mean, what's wrong with people? Judge them by their fruits, my friend. You have a brain. I do have a brain. Judge everyone by his fruits. When he do wrong, if he is, if the lifestyle of a person is wrong, that's mean he is a bad person. But if he do one time wrong, forgive. For God, he forgive. What the, what Jesus says to us about about how to pray. We Christians, we need to learn how to be Christians. Like one day, I was upset from Rich Shabbat because he made a video against uh, the son of Hamas, and I felt he did say that because of jealousy. So even though still he is not a bad person, sometimes the devil he cut to your heart, he make you you know sin. Forgive my friend. When they asked the Lord how we pray, he said, Say like this, pray like this, our Father out of heaven, and then right away forgive to us as we forgive to others. So even if a person he did send unto me, I don't deserve forgiveness of the Lord if I am not willing to forgive to others. So we are not here to judge, we are here to judge fruits, not a person. So what each about he did a great job exposing Islam. Osama Daktok is a wonderful person exposing Islam, but yet every one of us, including me, we have our, you know, pump here, there, you know, we are human, we do things which is sometimes not right. So let us judge the fruits. If you have a tree and have the tree have a 5,000 wonderful orange, and there's one of them is damaged, are we going to say this is a better tree? Be smart, my friend. Now, see, you took us out of our topic for your question. Please don't send me those questions. Now, uh, as you see here, Muhammad, he is blaming the women for she is the one made him horny. Muhammad, not only that, he go far in his attack on women, blaming because Muhammad is a, the Islam is a man-made religion, made by the man for the man. The purpose of Islam Muhammad, he knew that the one he need them to, for, to to make him victorious is not the women. The women are not the one who will carry the sword. So, uh, Muhammad, he made it clear that if not Eve, no women betray her husband. And here you will see the hypocrisy of all the Muslims, including Muhammad. The Muslim they say we don't believe in original sin, original sin. How many times we heard Muslims saying we don't believe in original sin? But this is original sin, but in the wrong way. We do not believe that a woman she cheat today because of Eve. This is the wrong idea of original sin. We believe that we are out of heaven because of original sin. We don't blame Adam and Eve for my sin today. That is not original sin. Adam, he did his sin. I did my sin. All what we say that the original sin is the first sin done against God. This is what original sin is about. But here Muhammad, he is using his stupid logic saying that every woman today, she cheat just because of Eve. And this is absolutely false. Are we following people? Do we have any Muslim here? He have an objection. Who is a Muslim? He agree with his prophet that if there is no Eve, no woman betray her husband. Who of you Muslims agree with that?
anyone would like to give us a call only Muslim please I don't want to receive a call from non-muslims here we notice that Muhammad he have a lack of intellect and lack of ethic because if this is the case that mean you Muhammad don't respect your mother you don't respect your wives and you believe that every wife or every woman excuse my language is a whore the funny the Muslim they say the Bible say that Eve she betray her husband this is what they claim and the funny they say that this is not right but the funny that Muslims do not know what their prophet said which is totally false about what we believe in the Bible the Bible is saying clearly that God he punished them both man and women for their sin he did not blame the women alone he did not blame the man alone do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call now uh, somebody asking about Abu Huraira just to tell you Abu Huraira one of the most famous campaign of Muhammad but many of you do not know who is this guy and why he is always with Muhammad he was a hungry man poor man we accompany Muhammad just for the sake of food It's like you know you have a homeless in town and this homeless he noticed that wherever Muhammad he go food is for free for him and who is ever with him Abu Huraira he's stuck with him And if there's any Muslim here will say it's not true, by the way, you can give me a call and I can show you the reference. <clears throat> and uh, uh, there is a reason Muhammad, he like Abu uh, Huraira, because he is in deep need of uh, food, free food. Uh, whatever Muhammad is saying, Abu Huraira, he says, Allah and the Prophet knows best. He is extremely subdued. For this guy, all what he needs is the company of Muhammad, so he will have a free breakfast, free lunch, free dinner. Any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? <clears throat> All right. Well, obviously, the Muslims, they have no answer, and they are not really too much proud about their prophet. Now, we go back to our topic about Allah having parts. While all the Muslims agree that Allah has hands, have legs, have foot, have eyes, and we showed you the videos yesterday in the other account, some of the Muslims, because they are naive, and um, or they are, it's embarrassing, rejecting a belief like Christianity just because the God of the Christians he became a human, while their God. He did not become a human. Their God, he himself, the origin of him is a physical being. So how it is not accepted to worship God who is a physically in a form of a human, but it is okay to accept God who is physically in a form of any, any human because they say he is not a human. No problem. 
So what he is, I, I don't care. You see, let us say there's a creature is not exist in this earth. And there's nothing like him. That is Allah then. Because all the executed, the Muslim, they come with, that are nothing like Allah. And actually, there's a, there a statement of a big scholar says, whoever compare between Allah and his creature, his, 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 his creation, he is a kafir. Whoever compare between Allah and his crea uh, uh, creatures or creation, he is a kafir. But this is mean that Muhammad is kafir. Because the first one who compare between Allah and the man, his name is Ad Dajjal, it was Muhammad. And this is my experience with Muslims through. My, you know like uh, lifetime ex experience that Muslims they have big mouth they say stupid things and then they will regret you see you will you will look like a smart Muslim as long you are not speaking to a smart educated person a bunch of dumb people they say the Prophet said Allahumma salli. the second you say the Prophet once I called an Arabian TV I wish I have a recording for it the Muslims they have something about them, you know. The second you say Muhammad, everybody have to say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because they don't dare. I mean, the second you so I, I called the TV station, I said, The Prophet Sallallahu right away, all of them they repeat they repeat with me, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I said, When the Prophet the Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The second I say the word, I keep repeating the word the Prophet, and then I said to them after they made it many time, and they said, Zidu alayhi salatu wasalam, they said, which means increase more prayer on him. Allahumma salli wa sallam. So I spent it like 10 minutes just making them repeating Allahumma salli wa sallam alayhi wa It was hilarious. Isn't it obvious that I'm making fun of you? But just because I'm saying sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who dare to question why this guy is keeping saying that? Who dare? Who dare to say to me, stop saying that, man? If I continue until tomorrow, keep saying sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he will never dare to hang up on me. He will never dare to say, what are you doing? Because then the Muslim, they will say to him, what's wrong with you? He's saying sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Madness, stupidity, too much hashish. Hashish. Everybody is high. <laughs> Just say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Everybody is in, in the high fire uh, uh, in the shelf. Who is a Muslim when I call us and correct us? You know, yesterday actually I blocked a Muslim who wanted to call me badly because he became so annoying. So let us see. I will uh, check the contact. Actually, I'm I'm blocking everybody in my my uh, in my contact, just for fun. Actually, the list is so big of people who I need to unblock them. It's endless because you know there's like uh, there is some of them even they are calling just to make a funny noise, etc. So I keep it blocking. Anyway, do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Any two? Any five? All right. <clears throat>
Mm. Let's see this guy. See, we're trying to get your customers, what we can do. Any Muslim would like to call us and tell us one good thing about Islam? Just one good thing. I don't want to hear about bad stuff. I am desperately in need to hear one good thing about Islam. Just one. Or who want to give me a proof that Islam is coming from the true God? I should learn Indonesian. I wish, my friend. I wish I speak Indonesian. I would, I would, if I speak Indonesian, I would make a special program just for the Indonesian people. But I don't speak what I can do. Anyone? Who is a Muslim in the chat? He want to call me. If you are a Muslim in the chat and you want to call me and you claim that you are blocked, give me your name. And learn something. If I say to you, don't call now, we are talking, I want to finish the topic, don't call. Because then the only way to stop you is to force me, myself, to block you. If you say in Arabic, uh, Allah, so hold on if you say one a question if you say Arabic Lu Allah S W two S A W I don't know what does that mean. Well his name is a troll, what I can say. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? May they may they we need a Muslim who understand his Islam. Until now we could not find one Muslim understand who is Allah. What is Islam and who is Muhammad? Not a single Muslim. You people, you keep worshipping God, you do not know who is he. If I ask anyone who is Allah, look what they will say to me. He is the creator. But the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators, which means there's many creators. So this is not an answer. Otherwise, you have to accept that the Quran made a stupid comparison between two are not exist. When I say I am the best of the creators and there's no other creators, either I am a liar or there is creators. Do we agree, people? Imagine Adam, when God, he created him. Adam, he said, I am the best of mankind. But you are the only man is exist, Adam. That's a lie. How you can be the best of mankind if there's no mankind except you? Do we have any smart Abdul in the bushes? Who want to explain to us when Allah, he said he is the best of the creators, he was comparing himself to who? Any Muslim? It's very hard to follow up with the text. The text is so fast. But, uh, you know, uh, I'm sure my voice is clear and Muslims, they are hearing me. Uh, you want to answer me? Answer me by, uh, you know, you see, have you ever seen any Muslim open their Skype, open a challenge for anyone to call? All those famous ones, you call them scholars. When the last time we saw Zakir Naik having a debate with a Christian scholar? Never. Never. And you know, I warned Christians, don't ever accept to have a debate in the format they say it and they do it these days, like five minutes for me, five minutes for you, because this is a very stupid, silly conversation. It's not a debate. It's, you know, you take the mic, you start saying, I wonder how, I wonder why, Yesterday I saw a big big fly and all oh, what I can see a bunch of idiot around me And then you take your mic who says I saw I saw a rat and he was so fat 
and I do not know what happened to that rat and or what I can see around a, a, a bunch of chickens around me and now you turn I do you know I took the mic I do not know what to say and whoever even care what I will say because everybody is sleeping and snoring at me your mic so there's no debate it's just a guy he take the mic take the mic it's your turn whatever he say but nobody answered there's no enforcement for answering the question when David Wood he said to uh, to hijab why you Muslims you wash your face with the spit of Muhammad he said <laughs> if the spit will make me a god <laughs> this is the answer <laughs> okay I'm God now <laughs> This is an answer. This is how you answer a very serious question like this. This is just a kid, idiot, trying to avoid answering the question. And this is why I don't like this kind of debate. A real debate is both they have a crossfire. You say something, I say, look, you have to say it right now, not after five minutes after everybody sleep and take a nap. And people forgot what you said. Don't debate the Muslims in such a way. It's a waste of time. It's a stupid. Put him right away in the corner. Make him wear the hijab of Allah. The burqa. Any Muslim would like to give me a call? And you know, at the same time, When you debate a kid, you are just helping who? Like I saw in the other day, somebody sent me a link in the, in the channel of David Wood. They have a debate with this guy. What's his name? From Nigeria. I mean, why you want to debate with this guy? I, I don't mind they call, you call me live, but this is not a debate. This is a spanking. But to make it like an official debate between this guy and this guy, you are you are, you are living in up this person who is no one. He don't even know how to say his private name correctly. What debate? This is a debate. No, we have a topic. The topic is Allah have parts. Allah have hands. Allah have legs. Allah have ass. Allah have eyes. Allah have uh, shin. But yet the Muslims cannot tell us who is Allah after all of this. Allah has no spirit. He is not a spirit and he has no spirit, but he is a physical being. But yet the Muslims, they will say to us, none like Allah. How you say to me, none like Allah, but Allah, he says he have a foot. The second he say he is a foot, it means it's a foot. There is a Muslim saying to me, you are lying. Call me, my friend. Okay, call me and prove it. Guys, here we go. We have a Muslim in the chat. He says you are lying, and he will prove it to me. Give me a call, my friend. Can you call me, please? The one who said you are lying? You cannot call me? You need to be private. Hmm. Okay. No comment. You know... I never saw a God who teach lies as much as God his name is Allah let me show you if we go to chapter 3 verse number 28 as long as you are accusing me of lying I mean lying is official part of the cult of Islam it's a must you cannot be a Muslim unless you practice lying as a daily practice of your religion so I don't understand how a Muslim even dare to speak about the word lying when your prophet he taught you to lie. Isn't it your prophet he said you sh a Muslim can lie in three things to his family, to his friends, and to his enemies? Who's left? Who's left? Don't tell me uh, science confirmed the Quran. If you are a Muslim, call me. If not, don't don't send me text. I will block you. 
Read with me carefully. The Quran teaching the Muslims that they cannot take non-Muslims as a friends. And the funny, the Quran call the non-Muslims hypocrites. Yes, yes, the Quran call us hypocrites. But look what the Quran teaching them. The Quran teaching the Muslim to be hypocrites. Look, it says, take not. Okay, look like we have a Muslim. Hello? Why you hang up? And why your camera was open? I saw something. I don't know what is that. Is that your private part? Are you Muslim showing me your private part in the camera? MashaAllah. I don't know. Maybe I'm mistaken. I saw something weird. Hello? Yes. Who is this? Why? Wait, hold on a second. Your name is Rahim. How are you, Rahim? Wait, wait. Okay, I'm waiting. Yes. Why are you are calling me, Rahim? What do you want? How I can help you? Are you following with us in the topic? Uh, the topic about what? About that you can you should lie to us. You say to us you are our friend, but in fact you should hate us. Who said that? The Quran. Here we go. It's in front of you. Do you see the screen? Yes. Okay, read it for us. Go ahead. It says that you cannot take a Christians or Jews as a friends, and if you are sincere to take us as a friend, if you are sincere, which means if you mean it, the one who is yes. sincere, who take them as a friend, seeking honor and might with them. By taking the hypocrite and disbelievers as a friends, he has yes. no connection with Allah. So if you take me as a friend, you are not a Muslim no more and has no honor oh, or no. mercy. Or, no. or what do you mean? No, no, it, where, where in the Quran does it say you are no more a Muslim? Allah just doesn't like it. Uh, Allah don't like it. What if I show you? Yes. Uh, what if I show you the verse? What you will do? Okay, show me where it says you are. But no, uh, no. I, let, let us make it clear. Are you making? Are you making a challenge for me? Because that would put me in the corner if I could not show you. To be honest with you. Yes, yes. Okay. Challenge. Yes. So it's a challenge. So if I show it yes. to you, what you would do, my friend? What will happen if I show it to you? What is what? Uh, what is next? I don't know. Uh, okay, you don't know. I don't know too. Okay, let's go to the Quran. Because you are challenging me, and you know this is embarrassing. And what if a Christian prince he could not prove what he just said to you? That would be bad. So what about we make a challenge that if I show it to you, you agree that Muhammad is a fake prophet, and if I don't show it to you, show it to you, no. I agree that Muhammad is a wonderful man. No, no, he's not no. a fake prophet. Uh, he is not a fake prophet. Oh, okay, I see. Chapter five, verse number fifty-one. Can you read for me the verse, please? Fifty-one. Yeah, I will read it for you in the screen. Do you see it? Yes. Hmm. Read what it says. Oh, you will believe take not the Jews and Christians as friends. They are friends one to another. Ye among you will take them as friends. Oh, Allah guide not the wrongdoing. It doesn't say that they are non Muslims. Allah just doesn't like it. Read, read. Why you stop reading? What's wrong doing? Read. What do you mean? Read, I, read. I, I read the whole verse. No, you did not read. It says the one who take you as a friend, he is one of them. Yeah, but it doesn't mean... Uh, How you can be one are... of us? How you can be one of us? What does that mean? You are one of us. I don't know. I don't know too. You tell me. You want to call a friend. But saying it's a non Muslim is a big thing. But some must, must, what must? What must? Saying in this verse, according to this verse, according to you, saying if you take Jews and Christians as friends, then you are a non Muslim, but that's not true. Okay. What if we read the interpretation for the verse? Is that okay? No. No. So no. what we should do? Should we go to the zoo now? 
as long as you don't lead the interpretation of the Muslims are not accepted by you the Quran is so clear is saying that the one who take you as a friend to take them as a friend is one of them which means not a Muslim no more he's one of them not one of us who is the Muslim is one of us was us who the Muslims one of them is one of them no my friend uh, Rahim do you take hashish no have you ever tried hashish no okay then how you explain to me your prophet saying things like in the heaven of Allah Allah will give you uh, you know a penis will never sleep yes so do you think this is hashish or this is true it's true it's true okay yes uh, and what make you think this is a true what do you mean well, I don't know. Because, I mean, uh, okay. What, 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 what is going to be? Allah, will, He will made your penis from what? From concrete or what? How your penis will never go to sleep? What does that mean? Your penis will, excuse my language, will be always like, like, like a concrete forever. Means you're horny. Ah, but it says He will never go flaccid. Your prophet says that. Yes. Okay. And what is the purpose if you are not having sex? Let us say now you are eating a sandwich. What? Why you need your your private part to be a concrete? Maybe it says you are always horny. I, I, okay, I know, I understand that you are always horny. So now you will have a you will have sex with the apple. You are eating apple now. Why you need to be horny? Huh? Yes. Are you laughing at yourself again? Okay, he's laughing. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Why well, you are laughing? Are you laughing at your religion, my friend? No. So show respect to the penis of Allah. This is a penis will be given to you from Allah Himself, my friend. Show respect, please. Don't forget, my friend, when you go to heaven to take selfie with it, okay? Who is a Muslim? He is an adult. He want to talk to us. A Muslim, he can hold himself from laughing at Allah when he speak to me. Any Muslim? I mean, obviously, if you read this, obviously, Muhammad is a true prophet. How the prophet, he knew this. Not only that, he described that Allah, and by the way, this is a weak hadith, as usual. Why are you are calling me? Uh, why are you are calling me again? And uh, well, why are you hanging up? I'm not laughing. You, I don't know. I heard you laughing. Okay, I, I, I swear, laughing. I swear by Allah, you were not laughing. I swear by Allah, I wasn't laughing. Okay, swear by Allah that your penis will not go flaccid when you go to heaven. No. Why no? Okay, let me ask you. If I ask you right now to swear by the fig, are you willing to do so? By what? By the fig. Fig? Fig, 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 fruit. You know the fruit, the fig, it's a fruit you eat. Fig. Yes. Okay. What? Are you willing to take an oath? Say I swear by the fig I was not laughing. I swear by the fig I was not laughing. Okay, let me ask you. Don't you think it's a silly to swear by the fig? Yes, it's silly. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. So how your God Allah He swear by the fig, my friend? He swears by everything. I know, but he's a, a second ago you told me if you swear by the fig, it is silly. Yes. Okay. So why Allah being silly according to you? I don't know. Hmm. I never heard of a god he swear by fig. I swear by the fig, and uh, I swear. I don't know. I mean, your god, obviously, when he said that, he was very hungry and he missed the fig. Mm -hmm. hmm. You know, what if your prophet he ate shawarma? Do you think your prophet he will make a Quran says, I swear by shawarma? I don't know. I don't know. I have a feeling you are laughing inside you. No. No? But no. you swear by shawarma that you are not laughing. 
شباب اي شاور من ام نوت لافينج اوكي ويلكم تو ذا شاور ما ريليجن يو جاست سيت شهاده يو اكسبتد شاور ما جاد از جاد فور يو دونت يو ثينك ذا وان هو سوير باي فيج اتس مين هي ورشيب ذا فيج نو وات دو مين نو اي سوير باي جاد اي دونت سوير باي فيج سو وان الله سوير باي فيج اوبيسلي هي از ورشيبينج فيج اذر وايز وان اس Huh? When I say I swear by my uh, father's grave, it doesn't mean I'm worshiping it. Yeah, but because that is a, a great meaning for you, a great value for you, right? You swear by it, right? Yes. Okay. So, what is the great value of the fig for Allah? Vitamin D, A, B, C. What? What? What is the purpose? He get vitamin from there. Why Allah swear by the fig? I don't know. But you just ad agreed that you swear by what is have a great value for you, and now we are talking about God. Yes. Okay, you know we have a guy. His name is Omar, and he is saying this. The, this discussion is stupid. Why you don't call me Omar and do better from your Muslim friend? Omar, can you call me? Okay, call me Omar. Here we go. I will hang up in this person. Don't call me Rahim. Otherwise, I will block you. Don't call me again now. Hmm? Any Muslim? Who is a smart Muslim? He have something to say to us, something smart. Thank you for those who they are making donation. May Allah provide you with all the fig and the olive you need. I swear by the fig and watermelon. I swear, this is serious, man. God, he swear by fig. I mean, the God who created the galaxies, the stars. Now he is swearing by fig. Don't you think this is really deep? You know what? I guarantee you, if you're a prophet, he heard. Don't call me Rahim again. Don't call me. I will block you. I warn you. One more time you call me, I will block you. Okay, here we go. You ask for it. I will, I will block you. Here we go. You are gone. Any Abdul? What is the purpose of God is swearing by fig? Is that serious? Or this is a joke? God, I mean, do you know how big the universe is? The earth itself is not even a dust in the universe, yet your God is swear by the fig. I'm so glad that your God, he did not go to Hawaii and he see the coconut there because he will make a chapter. It's called the chapter of the coconut. The coconut and what is the coconut? You have no idea what is the coconut. Quran, chapter coconut, verse number 101. Any Muslim can tell me what, what's happening here? Hmm? Actually, banana, hmm. you see, let me show you the Muslims, what they do with their religion. <clears throat> Hold on, hold on. I mean, what we can do, what we can do. Bad boys, bad boys. What we can do when I come for you? If you search in the English translation for the word banana, you might find some translation they are coming with the word banana. Let us see, I forgot which translation was. Uh, let us see. You see, I'm ch I'm choosing as many as I can. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Da 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 da. I mean, do you see this? Isn't it? This is beautiful. Banana. Allah promised Muslims in the heaven banana. The Republic of the Banana? 
Allah promised me in heaven banana I was really so worried that Allah will not give me banana I'm so glad that we have banana and by the way I don't know even how they come with the translation of the banana here I mean how you know that this is banana let us go and see the interpretation for this verse and see if the translation is accurate chapter 56 verse number 29 okay banana may banana take you hmm. what a banana got Even here they are saying this is banana. Huh, interesting. I don't agree that this is really banana. I believe that talh, let us see what the talh is in the Arabic dictionary. You see, when you say the talah, hello, hello, yes, my friend, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm all right. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Yes, I'm. A... Can you speak louder, please? Yes, I'm a Muslim. Okay. Can you speak louder, please? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. See here, guys. I just went to the Arabic dictionary just to prove that this is not a banana. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. They say that it's a banana tree, but they are trying to compare it to the banana tree. The fact it's not. Yes. It Hello. says, "I hear you, my friend. Hold on. I hear you. I hear you. Hold on. Okay. It says, and it's a it's a huge tree. Min shajar lahu shawk It have needles and have uh, glue come from it, and the the. Uh, I can't hear voices. You, you cannot hear me? Do you hear me or no? Hello? Okay, call me back, call me back. So you see, even they try to make it banana, but this is not a banana. This is not a banana. I have nothing to do with the banana. Anyway, Muslim translation, but here we go. You want banana? You will get banana in the heaven of Allah. Ajwa is the palm tree fruit. This is what Ajwa. After you collect the palm tree fruit, and they became old on time, they became like more sweet and more uh, sticky. That is the Ajwa. Okay. We go back to our topic. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? We got a Muslim who called me, but obviously his voice is not working. By the way, Muhammad, he said that if you eat seven ajwa, no poison can kill you. And no black magic can affect you. Hello? Hello. Yes, my Hello. friend. How are you? You hear me? Hello. Do you hear me or not? Yes, my name is Omar. Hey, okay, Omar, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, my. Can you mute YouTube, Omar? Can you please mute YouTube so we don't have the two sound timing? Mean? Okay, okay. If you don't mind, okay. please. Okay. Uh, my question is: mm. uh, there is violence in Bible and all the Bible scriptures. Mm. So I don't want a religions. Um, means. Uh, religion without violence means no violence at all god mm. should not punish anyone but there is uh, violence in bible i saw okay. there is a violence in bible. are you are you a muslim my friend yes i'm muslim I'm killing okay. you. do the do the quran teach violence what do the quran teach violence no no I'm, what i'm asking you mm. say me there is a violence in bible Okay. So if I, I want to 
I accept Christianity, but I don't want want violence at all. I'm saying at all means no single words should be of violence, no harshness, nothing. Then okay. only I can. Yeah, but I'm trying to understand what you are trying to say. Do you accept the Quran because the Quran have violence in, in it? Uh, do you accept the Quran as a book of God for you? First, answer my question. I asked you, my friend. I'm I, answering your question. I'm asking no, no, you. No. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I want do you reject the Quran? Them. Do you accept? Do you accept the Quran after no, you no, see no, the violence no, verses? No, no. You are you are uh, avoiding my question. Hmm. First, my first listen to my question hmm. carefully. Hmm. I'm asking. Hmm. I want to accept Christianity, but hmm. I don't want any of the violence. Means nothing at all. No single verse of violence should be there in the Bible. Hmm. In all. <laughs> Christian is scriptures. Hmm. There should be no violence at all. But but your God, Jesus, God is saying to kill children. On or what is this? Hmm. Where where my God? He said kill children. Do you know? What? Where my God? He said kill children. No, no. I I'm not talking about violence. Violence is there. My friend, I understand. I understand. I'm trying to understand what you are trying to say to me. Now, okay. Let me let me so, make it. Let, so, let, so, me, so, let so, me make it. Let me let's let us make it simple, my friend. Let us make I, it simple, my friend. I my don't friend, hold on. remember. Okay, hold I on. Wait, wait. I don't remember the Bible verses carefully, but there is a violence in Bible. Okay. On, 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 on okay. The violence in the Bible is very simple because the Jews they've been attacked, they've been enslaved, they've been killed, and they have the right to defend themselves. Now, what is the reason for the Quran to have violence? I'm talking what yet you brother I am talking to you know, I'm telling you why no, the no, peop no. people they live in a, in a in a in a society and people they attack them the Jews they've been enslaved twice twice they took the whole nation women children even goats chickens they take everything so those people they have the right no, to defend no. themselves why I in the Quran I, okay let me let, but, okay hold on hold on hold on God, who is the God one who ordered God. okay let me let me let me ask you the, the, no, no, wait, wait, don't avoid my question. First, I'm not asking you a question. I'm not asking you. I'm having a conversation with you. Take it easy. Yeah, let us I, eat, let us eat some curry together and we yeah, cool down. My friend, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen. Yeah, listen, 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 listen. No, no, no. Do you okay? Let, let me tell you a story. 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 Okay, hold on. We can talk together. I will answer you. God should God should God, God is means God is all powerful. He can do without violence. Oh. Why then violence? Okay. Why then violence? Why hurting? Okay. Why but ha why, why? Why you don't ask yourself the same question then? If you if you are against God violence, is, if you are against violence, no, why you don't God ask yourself the same question? No, no. Your God is loving God as you. Many Christians no, claim my your God, God is my so God, loving. No, my God. Let me tell you about my God. You, you, you have a wrong. No, you. You have a wrong idea. You have a wrong idea about my God. My God in the judgment day, He will bring people and He will say to His angels, "Slay them, for they did not accept Me." Don't tell me my God is loving. Don't tell me who is my God. Don't tell me who is my. Don't tell me who is my God. I am telling you who is my God. You don't tell me who is my God. I'm answering you. Shut up. Shut up. Let me answer you. My God in the judgment day, he will order his angel and he will say, bring them right here and slay them. This is my God. So you have a wrong idea about my God. And you keep talking like, like a breath to me and deliver room. You want to let me talk, right? Are you scared to, to let me talk? Are you scared to let me talk? What? What? I'm not why, scared. Why you are asking me if you, you will not let me you, talk? You, you will not let me talk. Let me talk. Scared. Okay. You, you asked me a question. You asked me a question. Can I answer you, please? Your majesty. You are, you are scared, man. You are scared. I, let I me, let me answer you. There you are the one who no, is scared. You are the one who is terrified. Get lost. I said, get, let your mom no call me. Let all. your mom call me. What a potato. He want to ask me a question. He will not let me answer. Who told you that my God is a loving God? My God is a loving God only for those who accept him. When the judgment day come, there is no loving God no more. There's people go to hell. There's people go to heaven. The love is over. Time for punishment. Love for those who deserve love and punishment for those who deserve punishment. The Lord and the Messiah. Okay, we have another Muslim. Hello. Hello, Christian Prince. How are you? I'm, I'm an Abdul. <laughs> You are an Abdul. Uh, That's wonderful. How you earned uh, this title? Did you buy it or something? 
Mm, um, I wanted to call you because uh, I'm from Germany. I have brought you today. Okay. Uh, I I'm not here to debate you. Uh, I think that uh, the uh, I'm not so good in English, and I think that a lot what you say makes sense for me to mm. me. But uh, I am born as a Muslim and lived 25 years with my religion, and since a month uh, I get doubts and I watch videos who are critical uh, uh, towards Islam. Mm. And uh, first of all, um, please don't uh, show my name. No, no, no. I will not show your name. No problem. Okay. Um, I, I will not tell anyone that your name is Muhammad Ali, Ahmad Ali, Ahmad, Muhammad, Muhammad. <laughs> Abdul 47. <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, yes, uh, I think that you have uh, so much knowledge. Okay. I I want to be clear in my mind because we Muslims or we Muslims uh, grow up with the fear of hellfire, mm. and that's um, the reason I think why a lot of Muslims don't want to or fear to uh, face the bad sides of Islam. Yes, mm. and that's the same with me. So I, when I watch the, the whole day videos against Islam, and then I close it. And then I get to bed, and then I get the fear again, and then doubts. Maybe you will get to hellfire when you leave Islam. You know what I mean? Hmm. Therefore, I have to uh, be sure that Islam is false. Yeah. Yes, hmm. and not that you. So let us let us me and you together now, friendly. Yeah, yeah. What is yeah. making you stay as a Muslim until now? Give me a reason. Okay. Um. Oh, only that I have. I am born. In Islam, and I have uh, fear that I, uh, when I leave, I make a mistake for my life, uh, for my entire hmm. life. Okay, let me let me kill this mistake, my friend. Shall I? Yeah. Okay. Yes. See, can I? Uh, okay. Hold on. Hold I, I, let me uh, show you. Uh, the, I, let me I, show you. Even I if you are still a Muslim. Right. So I get me something to write. Yes. Okay. I get me something. Sure. To, sure. Yeah. Okay, actually, this is a video. Uh, you can you can play it again later. You know? Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, I can uh, play it again okay. later. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I will show you something in the screen. You, you can see my screen, yeah. correct? Um. Uh, wait. I uh, mute me. Mm -hmm. uh, you said that Ibn Kathir is uh, a whitest person for Muslims. Is a is what? Uh, did you ask me whether Ibn Kathir is no, no, good no. or not? No, 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 I'm not asking. I'm saying, do you see my screen? Yes. Okay. You see in front of me because you're afraid that if you leave Islam, you might go to hell, correct? Yes. Okay. Look what your prophet, he said. And proving to me Muhammad to be a false madman. Read carefully, please. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. This, this is not a weak hadith. The Muslim cannot say this is weak, this is stupid, etc. This is a Sahih hadith. So yes. look, look what Muhammad he said, and I want you to read with me. I know that your English yes. is not that good, but still I think you can make it, right? Okay, yeah. Right. Muhammad he said that a person of you, yeah, after Allah he created you, he have an angels, they come and they write your destiny, they write your you know, they write your fortune, your, mm. your, your if you are blessed or not, you will be in here after blessed or not, etc. So everything yes. is um you know, you know the Muslim they believe in something is called al-qadr. Do you know what al-qadr? Yeah. Uh, which is the destiny, the fate. What kind of fate yes. we are talking about? The fate here is explained by Muhammad. Uh, Let us read yeah. together. Read with me before you talk. Okay. Muhammad is saying, yeah. and by Allah, Muhammad is swear, and by Allah, yeah. a person among you or a man yeah. may do deeds of people of the fire. Till there I is can only read uh, uh, among you or. Uh, and by Allah, a person among you, and then okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So among you, uh, uh, a person among you, do mm -hmm. uh, uh, among you or a man may do the deeds of people of fire till there is only a cupid. Cupid is like an yes. arm, you know, like you know, an arm distance between him and fire. So now this guy is a bad person. Is not etc. Praying. He is not doing jihad. He is not raping Christian women. He is not shooting Christmas market. And that make him bad man. He will go to hellfire. So yeah. then, but then, that written which Allah ordered His angels to write, proceed and He does the deeds of people of paradise and He entered. 
So what do you yeah. what do you understand from this? What we understand here? Not much because my English is bad. Okay. Okay. I'll, Allah, I'll, exp I'll explain to you. I'll explain to you. Let me yeah. explain. What he is saying here that a person who is not really a good person, yes. he is almost whether going to he's enter, Muslim or not. Uh, whether he's it doesn't Muslim. matter. Yeah, he's not saying okay. a Muslim or not. He's saying a Muslim, any any human being. Allah, He created a human being. So until there is yes. one day, he's almost going to enter the door. There is one arm there between him and the door of hell. That's it. Okay, yeah. and then what is written by Allah is going to take over and he will start acting Act of people who will go to paradise and he enter paradise now, So it means which it means, doesn't matter which, which means yeah. you convert to Islam you don't convert to Islam you pray you don't pray who care what is written by Allah is going to happen anyway Ah, Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so do you see now why and I you say to you you should not be worried because it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Islam is like a gambling it's a stupid religion I, I I believe I don't believe who care you know almost I am there and he will let me you know he will let me yeah. enter heaven because he and then he said the opposite by the way if you read the hadith again he continues saying and, okay, the, man, okay, and, yeah. and the man and the man yeah. who do the deeds of yeah. people of paradise so now this is the opposite a guy he is doing deeds of paradise still uh, there's only a cubit like one meter between him and the heaven or two between mm. him and paradise so almost he's there he's praying all his life doing Hajj uh, you know yeah. uh, 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 Etc. And then mm. what? Then what is written by Allah? Mm. Proceed, and He does the deeds of the of the people of the fire, and He enter fire. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I have a question to you. Okay, uh, everything what you say makes sense. That Islam cannot be the cannot be the truth. But um, how explain you? Uh, explain. It's it's an explanation for you that so much Muslims believe in it or uh... no, my, my friend they don't believe you see the Muslims the Muslims are, are people they are uh, I, I know you are a Muslim. I'm not trying to insult you, but I live in yeah. the Middle East I grow up between them. I saw that people are living hypocrisy. They don't live. They don't really believe but because yeah. you, you grow up like you you know you're afraid to make a decision but you notice that there's yes. a lot of stupid things there so but mm -hmm. who, who dare to say that you even you you are scared to say your name right so they don't dare to say that if you want to know what people they have in their heart give them freedom mm -hmm. you know like a Muslim who live in Europe and he's saying mm -hmm. I'm a Muslim I believe him more than a Muslim who live in Saudi Arabia yes because in Europe he can leave right yeah, but yeah. someone who live in Saudi Arabia, he have no choice mm. to leave or not to stay. Have, mm. have you ever heard of a country have zero atheist? <laughs> no, <laughs> or zero gays? Yeah. It's impossible. Yeah, yeah. This is telling you that this is not because they are making choice, but they are afraid. And even those who they are living in Europe, like you, even you, you live yeah. in Europe, still you are scared, right? So, yeah. so it, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Uh, no, no. Uh, I'm for... saying you don't want to show your etc. I understand, but there's some they are okay. scared. They might get killed too. There is some 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 family are aggressive. They will kill you. Or even Muslim, they will. There's a guy who put a sign. I think it was in Germany too, or maybe in Holland. I forgot. He put a sign. Oh. Merry Christmas. He just oh. put a sign. Merry Christmas. They came to him. They told him. They gave him a warning. Take it down. There's a guy who refused to take it down. He's a Muslim. They killed him. Yes, and, uh... They killed him yeah. just because okay. he have a sign says Merry Christmas. He did not leave Islam. He did not convert to to, to Christianity. He just said Merry yeah. Christmas. They killed him. So yeah. it's a very violent cult. Very bad. Very ugly. Very aggressive. But okay, but let me let me tell you, mm. uh, I'm not here to de debate you. I'm just. Uh, I, know, I know. I'm not debating you too. I'm not. Okay. No, no, no. You can debate me, of course, because you want the best for for me. I understand that. Okay. Uh, but but um, when I ask, uh, when I tell you skeptical questions. Questions or uh, I uh, that's only because I want to get closer to the truth. Yes, right. You understand? I understand. Okay. Uh, for example, a friend of me, he is one of the best persons I know, and he is a Muslim. Okay. He is such a good person. So I ask myself whether he just took take uh, the good things of Islam, mm. uh, or maybe is it, is it? I ask you. Do you th he's really a good person, a really, really good person, a good char character, and he is okay. Muslim, yes? Okay. okay. And he loves his God, whether it's uh, he is a true God or whether he just imagined that there is a God. Mm. Uh, let's let's beside, beside, yes? And uh, may, first question, first, is he a good uh, Muslim because he only follows the good teachings? Of Islam is he a good Muslim because okay first of after all, time yeah. please 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 no. please let me uh, uh, or after time after Muhammad died and over hundreds of year uh, uh, there are um, uh, person uh, who are Muslims who 
create this good stuff or do you think uh, that he only doesn't know what Islam really teaches? Okay, is he good for everybody or only you? Uh, he, he is a nice person, really, no. not only he's, to he's, me. He's nice to the Christians too? He's a friend, he, he have a Christian friend, this person? Yes, of okay. course, he's living here in Germany. He's... All right, no problem. That means he is not a Christian, yeah. he's, not, he's not a Muslim, my friend. Because, okay, okay. because the Quran, read with me please in the screen, the Quran says, chapter yeah. 5, verse number 51, hmm. that the one who take Christians or Jews as a friend, he is one of them. I know this okay. first. So and how, I don't get a better explanation than and literally, but what do you think are moderate Muslims? Uh, There's nothing called moderate. My, world, my friend, so do we have a moderate Quran to have moderate Muslim? Do we have moderate Muhammad? This is the Quran. This is Islam. To no, say, I say, understand you. I, I, it makes sense. Okay. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah but I, what I'm trying to say to you. I know. I know this first. If this guy, but, uh, if this guy, if this guy, you call him a Muslim, but he don't want to follow the Quran in front of us, he is not a Muslim for me. Okay, okay, okay. Because but uh, what make what me what make me Christian? Hold on. What make me Christian? If I follow Jesus, yeah. if I say there's something Jesus he said I don't like, I don't want to say, I don't want to do, it means I'm not a Christian. As simple as that. Uh, uh, I understand. You know what I mean? This is not only for Muslims. If somebody he says a Buddha, but he don't want to yeah. uh, accept the teaching of Buddha, that means he's not he's not not a Buddha, right? So Buddha yeah, or Christian or a Muslim is not somebody he call himself a Christian or a Muslim. Not somebody is born of a Muslim mm -hmm. family. It is somebody who practices Islam. And as you see the Quran saying that if you take non-Muslims as a friend, you are one of them. That's it. Yeah. So I know this the second you do that, it's over. There's no need to even discuss about it. So if this guy he mean it, unless he is a hypocrite, as we see in chapter three, verse number twenty-eight, where it says you can mm -hmm. do taqiyya, you can lie to them, you can say to them, "I am your friend," but as long you don't mean it, you are fine. But the second you mean it, uh, you are out of Islam. And that is the evil. That this is a proof that Islam is an evil religion. You see, Jesus, uh, he did not say to the Christians, uh, be nice to the Christians only and don't take the non-Christians uh, as a friend. The, the, the Bible says, as an example, yes. if somebody is coming to me to preach other than the gospel or to deceive me, don't welcome him in home. But nowhere it says, be bad for those who don't believe uh, in Jesus. Don't take uh, them as a friends or don't associate with them. But coming to my house to preach other gospel, you are not welcome. You know, you, you don't, uh, I don't want deception in my house. But here, look what he says. If you take somebody as a friend and you mean it and you are sincere and he is not uh, a Muslim, then okay. you are not allowed to do that. You have no honor, which means you will be killed. You will uh, be tortured just for doing that. And then he says he has no connection with, with Allah, has no honor, no mercy uh, or a protection from Allah. But, uh, but you can. Speak to them. You, you can unless you know what unless mean in English, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 So unless, yeah. so there's an exception. You know, you can yeah. take them as a friend unless unless you do it, but fake. You don't mean it. Unless uh, you guard, but you do it, but you guard yourself against them, save yourself from them, taking it as security, saving yourself yeah. from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them. Yes. While your heart is like this, so the Quran teaching you, Islam teaching you to be hypocrite. You can okay, be very uh, nice to me. You can be my neighbor. I am a Christian and you are a Muslim. Yeah. You can say, hey, uh, let me help you to cut the grass to show me that you are a nice person and you are not really uh, somebody to be worried about because you're a Muslim. He's allowed yeah. to do that. He's allowed. As long he don't mean to be my friend, in his heart, yeah. he dislike me. He hate me. But in his words, he can say all the kind words for me. And then here we go. This is not my interpretation for the verse. This is chapter 3, verse 28. No, no, no. I understand. Yeah. But what do you, what, uh, the, the, I, I give you skeptical questions because I don't want to ask after I am convinced that I want to leave Islam. I want to go. I have the feeling that uh, Muslim scholars are lying. My friend, um, everything in Islam is based on lying. And, you know, deception. Muhammad himself, he said that the war is deception. So this is the, if, for the Muslims. Anyone is not a Muslim. He is in war with Allah. The second you don't mm -hmm. accept Islam, you are in war. Same time, they knew that you live in Germany and you are free to leave. And then the only way to keep you in, especially you have, you are not one of them who like violence and killing and etc. So the only way to say to you, Islam is good, is to say to you what you like to hear. Yes. You see, a second. Do I, I, I don't know. I don't know if you heard me. A guy he call, he called me just five minutes ago, and he said the Bible teach violence. Do you remember? No, I. Okay. A, a guy he called me. He I, said the Bible teach violence. I did not say I to him. Busy. I did not say to him. No, yeah. this is a lie. This is not. You know, I don't. I don't play games. We say it as it is. We, yeah. When we say why, you know, the Muslims they play games. Suddenly, 
Muhammad is an angel. Muhammad, he don't kill. Muhammad, he don't rape. Muhammad, yes. he don't etc. Yeah. That is because they are hypocrites for us. Well, as a Christians, oh, we yeah. don't. We yeah, are not allowed to. Even even Jesus says, either you say yay nay or nay nay, which means either you say yes or no. You are not even allowed mm -hmm. to swear because swearing is for liars. But Muhammad, he said the opposite. In the case of Muslim, he can even swear by Allah, taking a false oath. Yeah. So how we can trust a Muslim mm -hmm. if he if he uh, uh, he's a liar? Mm. But how ex how do you explain to yourself that uh, Muslims exist who are good persons? Is that because they don't understand the real Islam? My friend, yeah. a, a human being, God, he created us to be good, not to be bad. And yeah. God, he put in, inside us what is good to be good. But then yeah. we corrupt ourselves. And then either we follow uh, uh, the good of God or the good of the devil. Now, somebody mm -hmm. he believes is a Muslim. Then he cannot be nice to someone he is not a Muslim unless he is lying to him or he's trying to convert into Islam. I can show you tons of articles made by Muslims. Why we should be nice to non-Muslims? Because this is the way we can make them accept Islam. So, uh, but but why they are doing it? I think I believe that a lot of Muslims who do it because they think that it's the right path. You know what I mean? But this is no. If uh, they do the, it because the, they think my, they my, love, my friend, no, to, my friend, yeah. the, the the right path is what Muhammad said and did. Correct. Yes, yes, okay. I understand. So uh, if I don't do in agreement of what Muhammad said, then I am not doing yeah. the right path. So we showed you how they can. Th this is the right path if they don't mean it, which means if yeah. they don't mean to be your friends for real, then it is the right path. So he can do that. But a Muslim, he been mm. ordered to do jihad in order to kill and to fight the non-believers as long as he could. So mm. either he is a Muslim or he's not. He, can he take you as a friend? Even the Quran says, I don't know if you know, the Quran says you can't even yes. take your family as a friend. You know that? Uh, I watched this from you. I heard it. I heard it. In chapter 9, verse 29, it says it clearly that a Muslim person yes. cannot take his family. Your father, the one who gave birth to you from your mother, he cannot mm -hmm. be your, your friend. Neither your brothers can be your friends because they are not mm -hmm. from believers. So as mm -hmm. long how how I can be, how, how I cannot be a friend for my own family, and then I will be good to others. Mm. Those are my family. If, yeah, if I cannot be good to my family, I mean, who's who's left? Mm. You know what I mean. But what what is the reason for uh, what uh, did Muslims tell to you when you say them when uh, when you say that to them as uh, uh, Muslims who have knowledge? What is their um, their lie? What they, do they say then to you? Say then do you, they say then it's just because the time was war? Or no, what no, no, no. You see, there is two. There's, there is two kind of Muslims. There's Muslims who live in the West, try to spread propaganda for Western to fool them, and there's Muslims who ah. speak Arabic, speak to Arab people. When we hear TV in Arabic, is different from when we hear them in English speaking. In Arabic, they say it as it is. We cannot be friends with them. They are our enemy. <laughs> blah 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 okay, blah. Chris, when they speak crazy. English, uh, they give you a different story. You know, I I, I will tell uh, you a story. But uh, once yes. I, did, I did read a brochure in the in the in the Saudi airline. Saudi airline. Yes. One page. Yes. One. You know, like the brochure. Like when you go in the airplane, they have a brochure. They put it in the back of the seat, right? So yes. The, in the back of the seat, there's a brochure. You open it. It says in English, "Welcome to Saudi Arabia." Blah 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 blah. blah. No, very nice words. And then in Arabic, it says a prayer, dua. May Allah, please uh -huh. Allah, don't let us die in the land of the kuffar, the najis. Uh, Please, Allah. Uh, I mean, it's, they're cursing the kuffar. One page in English, uh, welcome in the kuffar, saying to you nice uh, words. And the other word in Arabic, it says a prayer. Please, Allah, don't make us die like those kuffar, the najis. The kuffar in the land of the kuffar. Please, Allah, bring us back to the land of Islam so we can die as Muslims. I mean, what is uh, it? So, one, the same the same company printing two owned by the Saudi government, the airline. Uh, one page in uh, Arabic, insulting non-Muslims, and one page in English, Welcoming the non-Muslims. Which one we should believe? Mm -hmm. uh, the Arabic one. Yeah. So the, you know, when they speak in Arabic, the story is different. You know, I have mm -hmm. I, I have a debate with the guy. His name uh, Hisham al Husseini. Hisham okay. al Husseini. He have four or five interview with uh, Fox News. Fox News is a very famous uh, uh, TV station in the US. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So they try to to make him ag admit that he support terrorism. They could not. <laughs> Each yeah. time they do that, they, they yeah. fail because simply he lie. He is a he, he practiced taqiyya. So mm. until one day he have a debate with me in Arabic. In Arabic he said everything. 
Yes. We want to destroy Israel. We want to cleanse you. We will kill you yeah. all. People like you, they are Zionists. We should kill mm. them all. Suddenly, suddenly, he don't mind to mm. say it, but just because he's speaking Arabic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? mm. As long as you yeah. are speaking Arabic, he, mm -hmm. you know they, they they have the mentality that in Arabic okay and not, those people who speak English they will not understand what I'm saying so I can lie mm -hmm. as much as I wish and the story mm -hmm. is over you know mm -hmm. yeah okay mm -hmm. okay 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 also we can say that uh, Muslims in Arabic countries they are they have the true uh, face yes and people in Germany maybe they don't know the true face of islam or they hide their true face you understand what i mean muslims are muslims wherever they go but they, okay they, i try they, to but, explain but they change i understand, I understand what you're saying are... but they change their propaganda the bent in the situation the same as muhammad when muhammad was weak he yeah. was he accepted to have a peace agreement with the with the uh, with the non-muslims uh -huh. and he and when muhammad in the beginning actually he was not really aggressive uh, he was yeah, saying to the Christians, you will be in heaven. He said to the Jews, you will go to heaven. He said even to the Sabian who worship stars, you will go to heaven. But then <laughs> when he have an mm. army, mm. things change. Muhammad, yeah, yeah, you want to cleanse the, the, the... So this is what the Muslims they do. In Europe, they are weak. They are not the majority. If they became majority, then they will see what they will do. Mm. You know, as long as we are mm -hmm. not in control, then we, we have to be nice. We have to behave. But if one day we became the majority, then we will see actually they are minority and look what they are doing. Okay, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. okay, okay. I have an another sort of question. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, the problem uh, with that is I I believe you that a lot of Muslims could be that sort of person, but I uh, think that are a few or. Muslims who really think that they make good deeds or that they only have to follow the good deeds of Muhammad. Hmm. You know what I mean? Do Muhammad have good deeds? I don't know. I'm not uh, so... What is the good I deed have, of Muhammad? Muhammad is, a, Muhammad is a rapist, is a criminal, is a killer. What is the good deed? Yes. What, what are, is the good you deed? You are right. So how we but can we, follow? No, they don't follow actually. Muslims are better than their prophet. Yeah. <laughs> we have to admit yeah. Most of Muslims, yeah. most of Muslims are one billion times better than their prophet. <laughs> funny, really funny. I'm telling you. Yes, yeah. yes. So you can uh, see it. Yes, of course. Mm. My friend, okay, my okay. friend, any, ask me anything you want. If you are hesitating to leave Islam, I because yes. I I, I want to be sure that nothing is left for you. Go ahead. Yeah, anything of else. course, of course. The problem is that the mor moralic as a morality, I can't uh, prove it now for me. So. I want to ask uh, to tell. Uh, okay, there are two points which make which made me critical because of Islam. Yes, uh, since seven months, I uh, I got more close to my religion. I try to uh, to pray and practice Islam more and try to uh, get more knowledge. Okay, mm. then I found scholars like um, <laughs> Zakir Naik. Yes, okay, mm -hmm. and he t told me. Yeah, uh, there are miracles, 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 miracles. Okay, I I believed in every miracle because I didn't understand Arabic. But uh, for two weeks or for a month, I try. Uh, I started to uh, uh, to uh, may uh, to watch videos who are critical, and then I have seen that uh, Doctor Zakinak is lying to me mm -hmm. when he said to me that. That uh, the moon is uh, <laughs> reflecting. <laughs> That's right. a lie. Yeah. When you say uh, Munir and uh, uh, what's it the other, other word? Uh, Munir right. and uh, Nur. Yeah. That they are meaning reflecting light because right. Munir and Nur is uh, also uh, taken for um, Allah Himself. Uh, His name is for, Nur. Allah Munir. Allah you know, Munir. yes. Yeah. So, so <laughs> crazy how they are lying to me, and that that's why I'm angry. <laughs> yeah, uh, my friend, I have a book. I have a I have two books in German. Yeah, I know in German. You get them, get, get them because I spoke about the miracles of the Islam, the Quran, in details. Yeah. So you will die laughing seriously. You will die laughing <laughs> from the jokes. It is the opposite <laughs> of what they are saying. But here you need to ask yourself: if this is a good religion, why people they lie to make you believe in a good? Yeah, religion? I know, I know. That's cool because if it's so. Then I it cannot be the truth. You I know what you mean. 
and I will buy it and I, and I will read it. But there I have a question because of your books. Uh, you have done two uh, books uh, with the topic uh, miracles and one in German. Mm -hmm. uh, when I only read it in German, mm -hmm. I have read enough uh, for uh, for the topic uh, sci uh, science and miracles. Okay. You know what I mean? You have two books, Death, Death right. and Science right. in English. Right. Quran and is it enough when I only read it uh, in German? Well, it's a, it should be the same. Like I don't know how you know. I, I'm assuming that the translation. I know that the translation of the first book was a little bit not uh, uh, that much good, but the translation mm -hmm. for the second good, as I know, everybody says it was perfect. But both of them still, even if the translation, there's some mistakes there. But still, the both books it's better to have them because they complete each other. They, those two books are not meant to be two books. Actually, they meant to be one book. You know. But uh, the problem is there are two in English and one in German. Therefore, no, I there's two in German. Where... There's two in German. Uh, do you the lie yeah, go, of uh, go, go, go to Amazon go to Amazon uh, yeah. de and search for Christian Prince you will find all the list of my books there and you will see them okay the, the I would the, uh, yeah. first I would uh, yeah. on German and then I can uh, think about whether I okay yeah. let the, the miracles okay miracles are for us okay mm. we let, and the other thing is what where I want to get more knowledge is, uh, where uh, did Muhammad uh, got his um, uh, his teachings. So maybe his donkey with uh, he is uh, flew to the <laughs> to the heaven. Let me show you something. It's, Let me show you something. Yeah. I want you to look at the screen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm looking. You know the Muslims and you as a Muslim, you pray five times a day. You recite the chapter of Al Fatiha, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Do you know where Muhammad he got the chapter of Al Fatiha? What he was doing? Mm, I'm not sure. No. According to the hadith or the interpretation, he was doing poo poo. Read with me carefully. I'm yeah. not the one is saying that. It says here that the messenger of Allah, Allah bless him and give him peace. Whenever mm -hmm. he went out, Baraza, Baraza, coming from the Buraz, you do Buraz in Arabic, you do Buraz, you do shit. Okay? Yeah. So whenever he do Buraz, go to do poo poo, he used mm -hmm. to hear someone calling him, Oh, Muhammad. Yeah. And whenever he heard this, he used to flee. That again, that again, Muhammad, where are you going? I'm leaving, I'm leaving, 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 leaving. Muhammad, why you are leaving? The guy, he been prophet for a long time already. Al Fatiha is not the first verse he received or chapter. So why is he flying? Why is he fleeing? Why is he running away? So here we go. An angel of God, Muhammad, he go out for night to do boo boo. And then the angel he said to him, Oh Muhammad, can't you wait until the guy he finishes poo poo? And, and why uh, the prophet let us say the Muslim they will say this is not about Pupu he was going out okay let us say he's going out not for Pupu so why he hmm. even run away he is already he spoke to the angel yeah. many time he heard the angel many time and then he hmm. went he went and then again here we go what I the Nofa said to him advise the prophet to remain in his place hmm. and the caller you know uh, uh, call him again and then he this time he stopped so if what the Nofal did not tell him to stop in your place next time you idiot So we'll let us see what this guy want to say to you Muhammad. He will never never receive al-fatiha mm. What kind of a prophet and what kind of God he is doing this? What is that? I can't understand. Also, uh, I am not understand all you mean uh, he is uh, making he is going on toilet and then he will receive the al-fatiha and then he is uh, no, the running. angel when he go out to do yeah. what he need to do the, the yeah. angel he said to him oh Muhammad the second mm -hmm. Muhammad he hear this he run away he starts run, running okay. <laughs> and oh Muhammad and he run away <laughs> so it, it, it says every time which means many times and then yeah. Waraqab Nufal he advised him he said Muhammad what are you doing it says here he, he mm -hmm. used to flee he used to flee which means it's not once twice three times five times Muhammad mm -hmm. he heard the voice he run away obviously this mm -hmm. man is crazy then Waraqab Nufal he said to him he advised him to remain in his place next time when the caller call him so he can hear what this guy want to say. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Okay. You know? So <laughs> the problem is that he flees because of, or, although he knows that he knows he's a will... prophet supposedly. He knew he's the, the, the angel. But the, so why are you flee? So this Same time. that he is uh, mentally yeah. ill. And remember, this is Al-Fatiha. The Muslim, they cannot say to us that this is the first time Muhammad received a verse. Because the first mm -hmm. chapter Muhammad he received is a chapter of Al Al uh, 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 you know the one that says read right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. this is not the first time already he spoke. He became a prophet. He knew now he's the, the angel coming to him. So why he ran away? 
same time you remember that in the hadith it says that Muhammad he have a mental issue the Muslim they say yeah. he was bewitched but obviously he's not this is not there's nothing is called bewitched what is bewitched you know Muhammad is imagining things he have a mental issue and the yeah. Muslim they, they 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 claim and who he, he claimed to uh, to avoid uh, uh, the embarrassment he said that somebody he put the black magic on him and this is why even his sex was fake Muhammad he hear voices Muhammad he hear the stones saying to him assalamu alaikum why the stones will say assalamu alaikum to Muhammad unless he's a madman because, mm, you know the mm. trees they say to him assalamu alaikum the trees the goat spoke to him the camel the camel complain I mean this, mm. is, this is this is all is a madman but this man is obviously he have a mental issue the prophet mm -hmm. continued for such a such a period of time imagining mm. that he had slept with his wife having a sexual relationship with his wives but in fact he did not what is what does that mean it's mean Muhammad mm -hmm. he cannot even maintain his mind to mm -hmm. function to notice what is real sex what is not the guy is not asleep he's awake mm -hmm. now but yet mm -hmm. he's awake still he think that he had sex mm -hmm. there, there's a movie it's called the perfect host did you watch it no no search for it you will see that this is a story of Muhammad the perfect host okay. is a guy he write letters to himself Mm. Letter, he let he, he write postcards. He, he write letters to himself, <laughs> and then he read them, and he believed that a girlfriend she is sending him a letter. Okay? <laughs> okay, and then he bring people to his dinner. I wish I can play the video for you. We would die laughing together. And then he imagine uh -huh. imagine that people they are dying in his room, and he is uh -huh. eating with them, talking to them, and they are talking to him. And then even okay. he imagined himself having sex with the women who they are coming to visit him, but there's nobody there. <laughs> like uh, Muhammad. Like Muhammad exactly. So this is the perfect host, Muhammad, the perfect prophet. The perfect prophet versus the prophet uh, perfect host. But I can't understand why Muslims believe in it. Then, when, my friend, Muslims did not. When, believe, when, my, my friend, listen, listen. Please, please, please Muhammad, understand me. Please, please, one second. Uh, please, 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 one second. Mm. That you understand me. I watching your video since two days. Okay? okay. And when that what you say is the truth, why one person believe in Islam? Well, the maybe the Muslims have a good. Um, Good ex what means uh, um, Excuse. good sorry you know what I mean well, good reason why they say what you say isn't true or why they say it doesn't matter but what is their reason you know what I mean I want to understand the Muslims who know that why they hold on Islam because when I listen or listen to your videos I only can't leave Islam or get a good excuse but I can't imagine a good execute you know what I mean yeah, but who said what that? Who, who said they are not they... Islam? My friend, they are leaving Islam by tens of thousands. A few, uh, a few of Muslims they call and they say they are leaving Islam. Like last last month, if I say at least from the people who contact me and they say we left Islam, at least at least maybe you know thirty five, maybe more. So a lot of mm -hmm. people, those are the one who brave who who dare to call and to say. So, uh, 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 but there's many they leave Islam, but they don't say. You know, mm -hmm. they're watching and, videos the and... same as you. Like I never met you before, right? I never spoke yes. to you, but if you don't call no. me, how I will know if you leave Islam or not? I will not know. So yeah, yeah, uh, 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 there's many they don't want to uh, speak with their voice or to say because they don't they aren't brave enough to say so. But as mm. you see, this is in front of us. We are not making things up. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm showing the screen everything. But, okay, do do they say not every uh, hadith of Sahih Bukhari I follow? Because I I say. Well, when this is the execution that they say uh, I can't follow every uh, hadith, then I have to say, okay. So why do you know that you have to five try uh, five uh, times a day? You know what I mean? Or why do you th uh, think that uh, Allah uh, allows that this hadith goes to Sahih when He uh, wants to judge us? Because when a person who doesn't uh, who don't uh, uh, born as a Muslim and when he Hear this, he can't get uh, uh, to Islam. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So uh, it would be not fair that uh, uh, Allah, when He exists, that He uh, ju judge over that person when they hear so, to that hadith which uh, is in Sahih Bukhari but isn't true. You know what I mean? Yeah, my friend, the Muslim yeah. they say to us, Islam is based on hadith and Quran, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. So if the hadith is not according to them, is not perfect, this means Islam is it's not perfect. It's not perfect. Because how you say to me, how I am now as a Muslim, as a you know, let us say, God forbid I'm a Muslim, and yeah. I want to follow Islam, and then you confuse me. You the book it's called Sahih al-Bukhari, and then you say to me it's not Sahih. Sahih in Arabic mean correct. 
Yes. So you call it correct Bukhari, but then when I show you something embarrassing, mm. like now this hadith in front of us, anyone he yes, can say this is say... weak, this is weak because this is insulting yeah. to Muhammad. This is make Muhammad look funny. <laughs> but this hadith was correct for the last fourteen hundred years. Yeah. Okay. Now, That's... because people are getting smarter, more educated, and they are not the same as before. Yeah, and, the, yeah. and people have more freedom because of the internet and you know there's the, yeah, things are different yeah. so now people they can question and say how in the world this guy was a prophet he cannot even have a re even his sex was fake mm. if i'm a person i have mm. a file medical med medication file says that i imagine things i i did what but in fact i did not do it's mean mm. i'm not qualified even to to work in any job because yes. I imagine, imagine, yes. imagine, I would like to see Muhammad. He working for the phone company who received bills. I will call them. Mm -hmm. I will say, yesterday I paid the guy. His name is Muhammad. Did he receive my bill? He said, no, he don't remember. He said, I, you know, I told you, he forget. You know, he imagined, yeah. you know. So Muhammad will mess thing the world up. And this guy, he cannot even, he, he everything he do is not yeah. real. So how we can trust yeah. a man? He is living in illusion. What does that mean to be under black magic? And as long as Muhammad is under black magic. And mm. which means according to Muslim, this is satanic. How yeah. Muhammad is a prophet of God, but yet he is controlled by Satan. Mm. Yeah, make you know? no sense. Um okay, okay. So we have look, look, many look, at look, look at this one. Look look at this one. Look at this one. Once the prophet was bewitched, mm. so he began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he had not done. So Muhammad he imagined he did something. But in fact, he did yes. not do so. Now, how we can trust that Muhammad? He saw already an angel. He was not imagining it was an angel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. You know? mm. So, my friend, yeah. I invite you right now to leave Islam. One question: What do you think? Do you think uh, Muhammad was lying, or do you think he was ill? It's possible that Muhammad is both, because those who they are suffering from mental issues, mm. it is they lie too. Who care? I mean, as long as you see people, they they uh, he can take over them and he enjoy it. Yes, mm. he have a mental illness, but doesn't mean he is really totally crazy. You know, those mm. who suffer from those, mm. they, they, they call them chaphronesia. I think what they call them like in that the, the, the Latin term, which means they have two uh, personality. Yeah. So this person usually is a person who tried to do his best to be the two person in the same time. So he is a he is the man who want to have sex with all the women in the same time. He want to be the prophet who people obey him blindly. So he take yeah. advantage of them. Doesn't mean he's a stupid. No, but still he is sick. Obviously, he have a mental illness. Mm. Most actually, okay. and most of most of the crazy people, they can be uh, powerful people. You know, like we know in history, many leaders who they are crazy, they burn cities just mm. to, just for fun. You know, just for fun, mm -hmm. they burn their city, burn it, burn. You know, so uh, uh, being a crazy does not mean that you are stupid. Crazy yes. is about doing something is not acceptable and something beyond normal behavior. Mm. Yeah. Okay, another question: Do you? Can you explain yourself why I don't say that uh, the Quran is uh, the most poetic book, but it's poetic. Can you uh, no, it's explain? Not, it's it? not. No, the Quran is a very stupid book, my friend. Let me show you. Okay, something. but it's not, I know. It's... I mean, only the rhymes. The uh, when I listen to the word citation, it's it's good. Uh, the rhymes are good. You know what I mean? No, no, no. It's not. It's not. You see, go right now, Muhammad. The, uh, the Muslims. They try to recite the Quran the same as the Syriac Aramaic people that recite the Bible. You can go right now. Yes. Go, go to Google. Go to YouTube. Search yeah. for I, I, I Syriac. To yeah. Syriac. Syriac Bible, and you will see okay. that Muhammad Quran is nothing but a copy of how the Syriac. I can sing for you anything. I can sing for you commercial. Uh, and that will make the... it Quran. Actually, uh, let me let me let me see. I will I will I will find you something. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, give me a second. Uh, <clears throat> All right. Let us see here. All right. I want you to hear. I want you to hear this Quran, and tell me what yes. you think about it. Okay. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام حاء يا ألف هاء قناة الحوار المستقيم ذكري الحكيم بحوار صادق في الصميم يطعن العمم والعمائم والعمين ذكري الحكيم بحوار صادق في الصميم يطعن العمم والعمائم والعمين Okay, okay, I know what you mean, yeah. يسحق الشيطان اللئيم يسحق الشيطان اللئيم والقرآن الرجيم بقوة رب المجد المخلص العظيم وضع الكمامة تحت العمامة في أفواه الشيوخ بالسيرة والسنة والناسخ والمنسوخ Okay, I will stop here. What do you think about this Quran? Uh, I get more fear than uh, laugh in my heart. <laughs> What do you think? Uh, I think it's not uh, listen beautiful, uh, but also uh, it's not beautiful to listen. But um, my question is. But this is Quran, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, but, but, uh, no, so hold on. Not... No, no. You said yes, yes, right? What? What if I tell you this is not Quran? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is us Arab Christian. We made Quran the same uh, as the Quran of Muhammad, and Muhammad cannot make Quran like us. The Muslims, <laughs> I played this to all the Muslims, all of them they say amazing, beautiful. As you said, like you said to me, you said this is Quran, you thought this is Quran, right? All of yes, them they yes. said to me, Wow, amazing, blah blah blah. But then I said to them, This Quran saying that Muhammad is from the devil and Jesus <laughs> is God. <laughs> uh, this is what the Quran but saying. It's not But it's not Bible. It's uh, no. Uh, this is just we made it. You made know, it just uh, we made it. It's just for yeah, fun. You know. Course. But when the Muslims they hear it because Muslims are the same as the cobra. You know the cobra. The cobra. Yeah. You put a stick in the front of it. It moves with the stick. They are not even. They yeah, don't even yeah. have a music. There's no music there. You know. The Muslims just yeah. recite anything for them. Make it sound like Quran. They think it's amazing. That's it. You know. So Quran is. I a very, don't think. I don't would say that it's amazing. But uh, uh, okay, that's a proof that uh, the. The task in the Quran make a, a verse, make a surah, it's possible, right? My friend, not only possible, even the Quran says that Shaitan he made satanic verses, and Allah, Allah he took it off. Yeah, yeah you I know, have seen it. I so have seen it if how Shaitan he put satanic verses in the mouth of Muhammad and Muhammad himself he could not notice. Uh, Same time, but explain me why the okay, that's uh, that's the point where I Uh, say to me, okay, the scholars are lying again because uh, in Ibn Kathir, they uh, in the English translation they uh, don't get the passage. Yeah, why? They, passage. Why in English translation they took it off totally? Because this is, this story is embarrassing. Yes, of course. There's a guy from from Germany. His name is Ramazan. He made a video. Yeah, I have seen I'm lying. <laughs> I made I made a video. Just, did you, did yeah. you watch it? Go and see all yeah, that yeah. from from the same book. He decided to show me. He said that mm. I did lie about uh, uh, Muhammad killing an innocent man because of jealousy. From the same mm. book, he showed me. I showed him the reference. Says that this is Sahih Hadith. This is Sahih story. I mean, <laughs> look how stupid they, they they are. Uh, Ibn Kathir. Yeah. Uh, 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 there's an there's an Imam from another <laughs> university. I have a debate with him. Just mm. I think two months ago, when I asked him what is let us read Tafsir, he said Tafsir is made for to solve a problem. What is the problem? Mm. 
to solve the problem to, to defend Islam. The tafsir is not meant to explain Islam, but to defend. Mm. And that's what Ibn Kathir is doing. You know, mm. as simple as that. Well, mm. and uh, okay, 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 okay. I I, I make a, a silly um, argument, but you uh, you know that I just uh, want to get clear in my heart. Okay, mm. maybe. Allah is true and Allah is a bad God. Okay? Is what? You know what I mean? I make a silly argument. Yes? Okay. Mm. Uh, because I want to get to another point which is important for me so that I get clear in my heart okay, mm. that Islam is wrong. Okay. Okay. Some, okay. Then I can uh, uh, ask myself maybe uh, Allah is uh, uh, really strong and not so uh, nice. You know what I mean? But uh, it doesn't matter whether he exists or not. But then I want to prove from Islam that it fits with um, uh, with modern science. And I want to know um, where Muhammad get his sources, whether it is from the uh, Zoroastrian Zoe, Zoe, religion, you know what I mean? Hmm. Or uh, you see the Where did he copy it? You know what I mean? You. When, you when he is a liar and he copied everything mm. and it's not from God, then I want to know where did he copy Let it? me show you. Muhammad oh, copied copy from everything around him, but I will give you an example. Do you see the screen in front of you? Yes. Omar, he said, this is Omar al-Khattab, the guy who was his neighbor of Muhammad. He said, my Lord agreed with me in three things. <laughs> yeah, okay. I know it. <laughs> okay, he agreed with him with what? He, whatever Omar he says, uh, it became Quran. And look what he says. Not only he agreed with him, uh, Omar he says that so, my Lord so, agreed with so me. the verses, the verses came the same as I had said. <laughs> How you say to me nobody make Quran, nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Allah, and then Muhammad copy what Omar said and he make it Quran, and the Quran came yeah. exactly as I said. This is obviously it's mm -hmm. a scam. So Muhammad he take from people around him. Christians they say Mary is virgin. He said Mary is virgin. The Jews, mm. they say this, this etc. The Jews, you know, Muhammad, as an example, uh, once mm. a, a Jewish woman, she came to his wife and she mm. said to her, uh, I seek refuge in front of her from the punishment of the grave. Yeah. I actually, she said to her, you're a liar. There's nothing, not such a thing. This is funny. What punishment of the grave? Well, we will be dead, mm. you know, how we, how, how we can, uh, you know. So uh, uh, Muhammad, he heard them. He asked Aisha, he said to her, what's going on? She said to him, this Jewish woman, mm. she told me that the, there's a punishment in the grave. And I told her, you are a liar. Muhammad, he said, oh, yeah, there's a punishment in the grave. And Aisha, then she said, since I said that to him, mm. the prophet never, after that, read with me carefully. After that, I never saw Allah apostle, but seeking refuge with Allah from the punishment in the grave in every prayer he prayed. Look at this. Okay. Yeah, Muhammad. I have seen it, but I didn't understand it. Okay, let me explain. Who said, uh, the Jewish grave? woman, a Jewish woman, she came to Aisha, a Jewish woman, yeah, okay, yeah, a Jewish woman yeah, came yeah. and she said she mentioned the punishment of the grave, Aisha, the punishment of the grave. Ah, okay, okay, punishment, punishment, good, uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Muhammad, Muhammad, Aisha obviously never heard this before, but then mm -hmm. after this story. She said, Muhammad, after that, he never pray, but he said, I seek refuge. Why Muhammad all this time before he never said, I seek refuge from Allah from portion of grave? <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, okay, okay. Obviously, mm. now he learned from the Jews. So he, yeah, added, yeah. he added to his religion. If this is very but, important uh, to but the, the point, Muslims, But the Muslims then tell you, no problem. Uh, everything is from Allah. They cannot answer. Here we go. You, you, you will see after you hang up, you will see Muslims. They will call me and they have no answer. Let us see what they can do. Watch mm. and watch and laugh. What they can say? This, there's a, this is a big problem. What do you mean? They, what do you mean that there's no problem? How Muhammad never mentioned this prayer before until this Jewish woman she mentioned it. Obviously, he's a, he's a false prophet. Mm. Who, he received he received a teaching that he should pray to Allah about the punishment of the grave from the Jew or from Allah. Mm. Why Allah did not tell him before this Jew woman come? And the proof that he never heard it before. Aisha, she was surprised about it. And then Aisha, mm. she noticed after. She mentioned that to him about the Jews. She said that, and Muhammad he accept that and he liked the idea. After since then, Muhammad he never prayed not even once without saying mm. the prayer seeking refuge from the punch of the grave. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. But um, 
do we have other references? I, uh, everything, you everything. You can go to the Quran. You know, the, as an example, you can read the Quran, chapter twenty, uh, chapter eighteen. Chapter yeah. eighteen is a collection of stupid <laughs> stories taken from here and there. Some from the Jews, some from the Christians, some from the from from the legion of the Jews. You know. Okay, the, okay, okay. Let me summarize it, and you you tell me whether I'm right or wrong. Okay. Hmm. There is one um, story of um, Tulkanein, no? Uh, of what? Uh, uh, yeah, Zulkarnain, yeah, Zulkarnain, okay. right. He is Alexander he, the Great. The Muslim they say he is not Alexander the Great, but if you go and see the interpretation, it says it clearly that he is the one who built Alexandria. So who is he? <laughs> <laughs> well, again, again, again. The Muslim they try to deny many of them that this is this is uh, uh, this is not Alexander the Great. However, yeah, if, but, you read, uh, I have... if you read the interpretation, you will see that it says it clearly that it is the man who built the city of Alexandria. In Egypt mm. and everybody knows that the one who built Alexandria is yeah. Alexander the Great this is why it's called Alexandria but there's another proof or not uh, there's from Cambridge uh, stories of Alexander the Great uh, published is... in 18 1800 and then they and they summarized uh, the stories about Alexander the Great and there you have uh, um, that uh, Alexander is uh, walking from West to uh, uh, to uh, east, and that he want to get to the place yeah, where the sunrise. Not, this is not in the 18th century, my friend. There's a story. This no, is no, story. no, 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 no. Yeah. It's a summarize. Uh, okay. There is a story written yeah, more than 400 five, years, more than 400 century, years. Fourth, fourth no. century. I know. Yeah, there's but a story that written. Is a, yeah. yeah. But is that that is the proof or not that we can say that is not a uh, that is a historical um, source. Uh, everything we can use all the proofs, but here you notice how, how silly the story is. The the there's a there's a Syrian writer, a Syrian writer. He wrote this story, uh, 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 you know, like some they say two hundred years after Christ. So it's written yeah. at least maybe four hundred years before Muhammad, and he called the guy the man with the two horn. This is why the Quran is saying that he is the man. With, how, wh what is the name of this guy? Have you ever heard <laughs> of a guy whose name is the man with the two horn? Wh who is he? I mean, what, he's a cow? Why you call him the man with the two horn? So Muhammad is copying the name, and if you go and read the interpretation for why he was called Zul Qurnayn, you will you will not believe how stupid the, the answer. It says if I show if I show you now Ibn Kathir, which the Muslims they like very much, it says yeah. that when Zul Qurnayn he went to his people and he invited them to Islam. Yeah. They did hit him in his head with the hammer, and this is how he had mm -hmm. his first horn and he died. Okay. And, mm -hmm. and then Allah he resurrected him again. And Allah, He made him alive, and then He came back to invite them again to Islam. And then mm -hmm. His people, they hit Him again in His head. And this is how yes. He got the second horn. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Mm. Yeah. So mm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a fairy tale story. And even the Arab at that time of Muhammad, they said to Him many times, Those are nothing but fairy tale stories. And we heard them before you. You know? Ah, uh, okay. He never. Uh, uh, he couldn't uh, read. No, he just no. Heard this, and is, then this he... is no. This is not true. I believe Muhammad. He knew how to write, how to read. Okay. But this is again the Muslims, the, the, the Muslim, uh, uh, you know, stupidity, uh, because the Quran yeah. say clearly that what what the word illiterate mean. The Quran says illiterate is those who do not know the word of God, not those okay. who do not know how to write, how to read. You know mm, I mean? So it's not amazing that he get uh, one rhyme. So that he can rhyme. You see, the first verse Muhammad you receive, it says, "Read," and then it says, the, the, uh, "Read in the name of your Lord, the one who taught by the pen." How Allah He says to him, "Read," if he do not know how to read. Mm. That would be stupid, actually. Yeah, they say that because it's a because if I say to you, "Read," either I do not yeah. know that you do not know read, or I am trying to make a miracle. It's like saying to a guy who is a blind, "See," and he said to me, mm. oh, "How I can see? I am blind, man." And then I said to him, mm. "See again." Instead, he can't see. So either I am stupid, I did not notice that he is he's, he's, a, he's a blind man, or I am mm. a God who is making a miracle. Like Jesus said to the one who cannot walk, walk. The man, he walked. Mm. He carried his bed and he walked. He did not say well, like how I can walk. He just walked. So Allah, he said to Muhammad three times, read for what? What the purpose? Mm. Okay, okay, okay. So you think that he, uh, whether he heard the story or he have has uh, uh, it doesn't matter, really. It, it doesn't matter. I can learn the story from hearing it, and 
Uh, hearing yeah, stories yeah, was course, a very normal course. normal way to 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 carry on stories from from place but to place. In the Sira, it stands that he should uh, to uh, um, to the pagan. Uh, the they the pagan went to a Jew, and he told him ask him three questions about the soul, about the K, uh, mm. about a calf, mm. and about uh, the Quran. Mm. Is it true? That the hadith, yes, but 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 this hadith exposed Muhammad because look what he said. If we show, if we go there, uh, yeah. it says the following: the Jew is supposedly he said to him, "I will ask you three questions. Nobody knows the answer for them except a prophet of God." You know, and he had he had no real. Uh, but but, <laughs> yeah, he but, how, but one, how you say to him? Day. How you say to him? Nobody knows the answer for them except prophet of God, but yet he know the answer. That means he's a prophet himself. You know what I mean? If I say to you, I will ask you a question. Nobody have the yeah. answer for it except the prophet of God mm. And then I agree with you that this is the correct question. That's me. I'm a prophet, too So do you think that the story is fabricated? This is a stupid story not only that the guy he yeah. asked him to ask him What made yeah. the baby look like the, like the, the parents? Muhammad yeah. he said if the father have have intercourse <laughs> have have an orgasm first the baby will be look like the father if the, if yeah. the woman have, This is stupid. This is proof that Muhammad is a false prophet again And not only that Muhammad he said when he answered he said Jibreel just now told me read really carefully yeah. <coughs> After the guy he asked him the question Muhammad he said uh, 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 First uh, uh, Okay, uh, so he came to him and he said to him the prophet etc the questions and then he said the prophet said just now Jibreel has informed me about that. So the questions you asked me. So now the Muslim they can say Muhammad is just a human being. He made a mistake. Mm. When he spoke about a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. Obviously, Muhammad mm. claimed that this is what his God told him. Yes. yes. So who in the world want to believe in such a garbage that if you have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If you have orgasm, the woman have orgasm first, will baby be a girl? Yeah, it's it's garbage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's Sahih, no? Yeah, this is Sahih Bukhari. Yeah, okay. Mm, yeah. yeah, okay. It's obvious. Mm. Yeah, as okay. you see, this mm. is Sahih Bukhari. Muslims cannot say this is not Sahih. But anyway, soon they will say it's not Sahih. Just wait, it's coming. <laughs> okay. Actually, in, in during the time I debate with Muslims, many Muslims now they start saying the Quran is not Sahih too. <laughs> yeah, honestly, there's many videos of mine. You go and watch them. You know, they will see Muslims saying that this is obviously this is going to be from God. This is uh, Quran is uh, not Sahih. You know, so what they say that the, there is no way Allah will say that there's somebody put it there. You see, so now the game it changed okay. to different level. The denial go to different level. So in the beginning, it was only the Hadith is corruption. There's corruption, uh, but now they say even the Quran is not Sahih. Okay, okay. Mm. In five years yeah. from now, they will say to us even Allah is not Sahih. Uh, you you must understand that we Muslims we really fear Allah's. Uh, <laughs> when when we finish the call, I I have the truth for my eyes, but then I get doubt again. You know what I mean? Because twenty five years I I go ahead uh, fear for Allah. You know what I mean? My friend, it's time for you to say I am out. Come on, you are a man. You are smart. You are intelligent. You do not need this mm. garbage. And you just said clearly that this is cannot be from God. So say it. Yes. Say I am out of Islam, my friend. It cannot be from. Uh, it obviously cannot be from God. Thank you very and much. If Islam it, is not from God. Thank you. And if it would be from God, it would be a uh, not a very intelligent God. God. Stupid yes. God. Yeah. Well, I am happy for you that you decide to leave Islam and you are out of it. But now I have a duty yeah. as a Christian. You know, I am a Christian, right? My name is a Christian prince. Yeah, I know. So I, know. I have a duty to invite you to believe in my Lord and my Savior, the Messiah, the Christ. What do you okay. say? Okay. Then give me. Give me two questions. Uh, first, I tell you why I uh, I cannot believe that Islam is right. Yeah, two things. First, because it doesn't fit to modern science. Mm. Okay, but when it's the uh, word of God, which is on it uh, in in the heaven, when the Quran is in the heaven, and it says that the earth is flat, and uh, Allah is the Lord from the east and west, which seems that uh, they thought that uh, that the earth is flat, yeah, hmm. east and west. And uh, when it's uh, when they says that um, 
uh, Rajada uh, in a muddy the spring. You know what I mean? Murky water. My friend, don't. Yes, don't, and they. I, I don't uh, want you to make this is your reason only. I just you, you just see that Muhammad. He just said Jibril told me, and obviously this is a lie. There's no way Jibreel yes. told him that the man, if the baby have, if the man have orgasm first. Okay, but okay. We do not it's want enough. to believe. It's enough. We don't want You're to right. believe in God or not just because of science, but because of lies. You see, because sometimes yeah. science can't explain God. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but obviously Muhammad he is a liar because he is claiming that Jibreel told him that. It's not a mistake of his own, right? Mm. So as long as Jibreel told me that, and Jibreel he is speaking for God, and God told me that if you have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. That means well, Muhammad and Jibreel and Allah is a fiction story altogether. So this is yes. why we reject them. That's because it's not just science. But now in the same time, yeah. you know, you you decide to leave Islam. What do you think about Christ as the, the Messiah? I have him? no idea about it. Okay. The only the only knowledge which I have, which I had, hmm. is Jesus is not God. Hmm. I don't want to hurt you. That's what I no, learned no, no, I 25 understand. years. Don't worry. You know I'm not I'm a Muslim. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, uh, Trinity is make no sense. Okay. That what that what I learned 25 hmm. years hmm. and uh, <laughs> Jesus was a Muslim. Okay. That's what I learned 25 okay. years. Okay. I will. So, I will. I will uh, make the Trinity. Maybe for some people the Trinity is confusing. I will try to explain it for you, and I will give you time. Okay. You say you know. Feel free to call me anytime you wish. You see. Okay. Uh, the, the Christ our Lord he always teach us and he speak by parables you know what parables right no again again like what? you know you speak a story to teach us something else from the story yeah you know I mean yeah so the Lord always he use examples by teaching us telling us stories example so I will try mm -hmm. to do the same for sure I am not equal to be wise as the same as the Lord and no way to be close but let us say yeah. we have the Sun in the sky you see my screen yeah all right yeah the Sun in this in the sky Generate light and heat. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now the light of the sky will come to us down in the earth. Yeah. If the yeah. sun, if the sun does not have light, yeah. we will not recognize the sun. Correct? Yes. Because we recognize only by the vision, not by touching it. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. And if the sun does not have heat, we will not yeah. even understand what heat means. Yes. Right. Yes. Because heat is something we cannot see. We yes, can, we, we have to feel it. Yes, we feel it. Now, this is exactly what the Trinity is about. Our Lord, okay. the, our Lord, the Father, uh, our God, He is in heaven. Yeah. We cannot see Him. He's invisible, but yeah. His light is the Messiah who came to us, who is an invisible yeah. image of God. Yeah. And then, yeah. when we believe in the Messiah, we have the heat, which is the Holy Spirit. So oh, okay, mm. it is a three, what? but it's one because the Son. Three, three person. Let us say it's, three person. Only one but present, present one, one God we worship. The sun is mm. there. The sun is there as a person. You know, let's say mm. let's make it as a person. And then the light is exist. Yes, we, we see it, and it is exist, mm. and it's a person. And then the heat, which we cannot see, but yes, it exists, yes. and it is a person. Uh, so yeah. the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, not only makes sense. Everything in science is speak about the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. If you go study right now, you will see everything around you is based on number three. The golden yeah. ratio, the golden ratio, which it means the golden beauty ratio, is based on yeah. two to one. Uh, the, the the water is made two to one. Everything around us is based on three. So God, yeah. He don't leave Himself without signature. You know, human being, He need certain things to live with otherwise he cannot survive and you will see that those are the three major things we if, if the sun disappear we die uh -huh. correct yes the earth will froze if the heat of the sun goes too because even if even if we have heat but we don't have light we die yeah correct because heat alone will not be enough to make to make a, a, a grass survive still we need the light mm -hmm. so you know everything around us based on number three and this is the signature of god God mm. don't leave himself without witnesses everything around us witness to Jesus witness to Christ that he is the one to worship same time It's not just an idea of having three which is one. Yes, let us say there's somebody believe yeah. that he have a 1,000 God in, yeah. in India they have uh, I think 400 religion. I don't know how many but let us say assume mm. somebody he believed that he have 1,000 God and later we discover that they are 1,000 God that will not change anything as long as they are there they are there you know what I mean? Mm. The number, the mm, number, not quite. Yeah. The number will not make a difference if, as long as the question is, are they real or fake? 
Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Let us say yeah, yeah. the Muslims now they believe in one God, correct? Mm -hmm. One. His name is Allah. Okay. This Allah, He is one, but yet He is fake. So who what the benefit? What the benefit? Yeah, I understand. What you you mean? Mean? Yes, yes, yes. Of course. Uh, I so, understand what you mean, but what? Uh, okay, okay. So my question is, the uh, you uh, uh, for for a month, for two weeks, I told me myself whether Islam or nothing. Okay, then uh, biology, uh, evolution. Okay, I live only you no know, forty years and then I die and then it's nothing. Hmm. Okay. okay, I have to accept it. It's hard, but I have to accept it. Okay, but then I have seen that Islam cannot be true now okay science and uh, i have proven to me that uh, uh, muhammad stolen uh, stories okay but what are the proofs for us people in the uh, in year two, 2018 that jesus is lord that uh, the bible is the word of god where are the proofs for that you know what i mean i understand your your logic my friend uh, for me I, I am a person who live my life and experience uh, uh, and I witness that the Lord is a true Lord and I have I can yeah. you know I can I can share with you tons and tons of stories but at the end of the day uh, uh, yeah. believing in God is a belief is not something you can hold the same as if I tell you let us say if I met you 300 years ago and I say to you there yeah. is something can move in the air but we don't see it's called radio waves you will not believe me Right? Yeah, of course. Okay, mm. but this is science. Science, right? It's science. Yeah, but yeah, even yeah. though it's science, you don't believe it because you did not experience it, right? Yes. So science sometimes can be denied. Even yeah, though even though it's true. Okay. So if we believe in science and science is our guidance, here we go. I bring you science, you refuse. You know, I, I remember once I uh, uh, a priest he he contacted me and he said there's an atheist guy, mm -hmm. he's a doctor, he come to our church every time we have a service. Uh, he make fun of of you know imagine how rude he is he's coming to the to the church and those people are very very nice people the christian they're not like muslims aggressive they will kick him out so after they they finish mm -hmm. the service they sit together drink tea and coffee etc and this guy always he make fun of them he says whatever he's saying so he told me can you come i'm, I'm sure you can get him busted in your own way i don't know yeah. even who is the person i never heard him before so i said okay i'm going to come and we will see what we can do i went there and he told me mm -hmm. that is the guy there. So I was sitting there waiting for him to say something. Then mm -hmm. he say the guy, well, you know, one of the people there. He said the glory to the Lord. You know, he do miracles every day. And uh, he said yeah. right away he jumped. He said, uh, uh, <laughs> "You want to convince me that <laughs> your your uh, uh, your God he do miracles." And uh, he put like you know you know like as an example he put some sand on the eye of somebody and he made him see, huh? Mm. So I said to him, uh, "Excuse me," he said. He said, "Yes." He said, "What do you do for a living?" He said, "I am an eye doctor." I said, "That's wonderful." Aren't mm. you? Aren't you an eye doctor? Put sand in the front of people to make them see better. He said, "What?" He said, "Don't you?" Prescribe mm -hmm. to people who come to your clinic sand to put them in the front yes. of your uh, their eyes. He said, um, "Are you mean the glasses?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "Yeah." He said, "So if I say to you, a thousand years ago, before people they have a glasses, I will put sand in the front of you, and you will see better. You will laugh at me, don't you?" Mm -hmm. He said, mm, uh, "Uh huh." I said, you are the one making fun of us for accepting sand on the eye of somebody, making him see, but you are the one who do it every day. Is it, uh, glasses is it, are... The glass is made from sand, uh, my friend. Uh, it's, it's made from sand. It's a sand. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know it. Okay, yeah, okay. glass okay, is a okay. sand. Uh -huh. Glass is nothing but a sand, okay. you know? So okay, this, is, this is how naive they are. They don't use mm -hmm. their brain. So here we go you do it every day you are this is your profession you make living from it you put sand in the front of the eyes of people so they can see better and you are saying to me how that can be so mm -hmm. what happened my friend we claim that we are people who see but sometimes we are blind and we mm -hmm. have to be deep to understand the lord and the lord the messiah you read the bible and you will see how amazing he is it's not about science and miracles only because there's nothing science can explain how Jesus can make a blind see by putting some mud in his, in his eyes. That's impossible, right? But, but, but if please, you use... Please, please, 
please uh, understand me. Okay, I can read the Bible and then I can tell to me, Jesus is more, uh, is, I, I didn't read it so, Sorry that I'm not so okay, my fascinated friend, my friend, like no, you. No problem. I, please, 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 I, I please, please, please. I know you. You, uh, <laughs> you want to. Please let me first get my point, please. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, maybe I read it and then I think, boy, what a wonderful book. But what are the evidence? No, it, 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 that, when you say no um, science, that is not the strategy of uh, the Lord, then tell me what is the strategy? I will give you. I will give you a very simple proof. So I can get. It. I will give you simple proof. Yeah. Now there is many people they witness real yeah. miracles in their life. Real miracles you can go and see, check yeah. tons of miracles. But there is something very unique. You will yeah. see somebody he was a criminal all his life. He accepted Christ. He became a wonderful person, yes. from a violent person to a very peaceful. In the opposite yeah. in Islam. You will see a person he never killed anyone. He converted to Islam second day. He want to kill his family. He want to do jihad. So, God who changed me from being evil to be good. He just to prove it to me that he is the good God. Otherwise, how I, a person who aggressive when I kill me myself, actually, I used to go and jump into any fight. If I see two people fight in the street, I jump in it, even if it's not my fight. I used to be like that. So mm. I, you know, I, if I see, if I see, like, uh, uh, I remember once I, uh, I saw a guy. He's fighting with, with, like, he's alone, and there are many around him. I jump with him mm. in the fight just to defend him because I, I believe this is not right. But this is not even good to, to do to, to do violence anyway. But I jump in the mm. fight because I I cannot stand to see somebody is fighting many alone. So I jump after we finish the fight. The guy he said to me, "Do I know you?" I said, "No." He, he don't mm. know even. He was wondering like, who is this guy who jumped with me in the fight? You know. So uh, I I was a person who do jump into into fight even I do not need to and don't have to and I should not do. But mm. since I became more and more and more close to the Lord, I avoid violence and I stay away from it, and I believe it's wrong. Mm, so the Lord who can change me for better, that okay. is the true Lord. Islam, He changed you for what? He make you want to do jihad, kidnap women from the neighbors. Muhammad, He says, go and take the neighbors to get the blonde girls. So God always He don't leave Himself without witnesses, and He will He will prove Himself to you. you but you just, mm. you just you just need to ask Him. To give him a chance to prove himself to you. Otherwise, if you okay. don't, if you block it in front, like it's like somebody sitting in a basement mm. and he don't want to open the window to see the sun, and he wonder where is the sun? If the sun is powerful, why mm. the sun doesn't show herself to me? But the sun is mm. there. Open the window, you know. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I have, I need time for that. You know what I mean? I, no problem, I, my friend. I that was one. A, it was a pleasure to talk to you. I'm going to yeah, give time for more people to call, but I'm happy yeah. that you decide to leave Islam at least. And now yeah, you feel, feel free to read the Bible. Yeah, okay, okay. But th uh, please, three things. All right. Uh, uh, two things. Right. Okay, I will buy your book, uh, uh, Miracles of uh, Islam, under the so that I can uh, see how it's not uh, true. Hmm. The miracles, and the second one was uh, historical. Do you know any source that I can read in which language uh, doesn't matter where I can uh, get um, examples? Which source, story uh, source about what about uh, where Muhammad has stolen each story or the lot of stories? You know, well, I, am, like? I am I'm working on a book actually, it's called The Roots of the Quran. I will try to finish it when I can. But in my ah, book, okay. in my in my books, the books you will have if you buy them, you will see a lot of source. I spoke about where they are coming from. Okay, but okay. Well, that is a proof for me that he is he is stolen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, obviously it's a stolen. I mean, the seven sleeper. You can search it right now. The the, the seven sleeper in chapter two, 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 eighteen. Search it yeah. right now, and you will see this is a story written long before Islam and have nothing to do with with Muhammad. And it was a fiction story written by an, a, a Christian bishop to make to make the Christian believe in God. <laughs> but it's a fiction story. He 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 did not lie. Say this is God told me. You know. He made a fiction story about a bunch of guys who they are discriminated. They hide in the cave, and then the angel he opened his arms, and then the Muhammad because he's an idiot, he could not understand the difference between the word Kali a home in the Aramaic <laughs> and the word Kelba home. So the word angel became a dog. Is it a hot dog? Yeah, so but all of us we knew. Dog, all of us we knew that the dog in Islam is najis, right? It's dirty. So how suddenly, <laughs> how suddenly the dog became a guardian? Because simply he stole the he stole the story from the Christians. And the Christians, uh, they are not talking about the dog, they are talking about a Kali Ohum, which is an angel who provides them. 
Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. That's yeah. enough proof. Okay, uh, enough proof. Okay, right. then I have to read your books. Okay, and the last one is what is the um, the miracle of uh, uh, mathematics? That's a joke. I have many videos you can watch them and you can laugh. Just okay, search okay, okay. for them. Anyway, it's a it's a, big, it's a big fat lie. All right. Okay. 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 Thank That's you, my friend, for calling. For Thank you very okay. much. Thank you very much. I think I'm ready. All right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I have. I have. Oops. Uh, I click. Okay. I I have to hang up on you because some Muslims are trying to call and we want the Muslims to call us. We are glad that we have a Muslim who left Islam. Let us see what the Muslims want to say. Who is a Muslim want to call us? There's a guy. He said. Uh, Sayyid Omar, he said, uh, guys, do you want to see what Sayyid Omar he said to me? Do you want to see what Sayyid Omar is a Muslim? He said to me, excuse my language. I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to read it for you. This is how the Muslims are in this ability. Hello? Hello? Sorry, I lost my voice. Stupid idiot. blocked any Muslim when I sound like stupid we will block you who is the Muslim you have the courage there's somebody so told me there's a guy when I call me and he's blocked I could not find your name call me my friend hello hello how are you I'm fine uh, how are you mr. Ahmed how are you? And you? You still a Muslim, Ahmad? Yes. Why are you still a Muslim? What What's wrong? Because I want to be a Muslim. But what's wrong? What is What is the, What is the problem? Why are you still a Muslim? What make you stay as a Muslim? Because I, I believe in Allah. Who is Allah? Allah is my God. Who is what? He is my God. But who is Allah? And I know that He is your God. But who he is, is my God? I know that. Simple answer. No, but who is? No, this is not an answer. You say who is God? Okay, who is your God? This answer he is who created man. He created uh, the heaven and the earth. That's not an answer too, because Allah He said that hey, there is many creators. He is. He there is many creators. So he is. The, he is the creator that He created me. No. The, the Quran says that Allah is at the best of the creators, so maybe, maybe you are not created by Him. What is the guarantee? No, the Quran. No, no, you, you misunderstand this verse. This verse talk about the simple creation because a man himself, when he creates something from from something, that's that's called cre uh, uh, creation. Hmm. But Allah is He creates from nothing. Allah He created uh, from nothing. Difference. Okay, let me ask you: He created Adam from nothing, or He created Adam from something? Do you, if if a man creates something from nothing, is it a creature or not? If he created something from nothing, in Arabic, in Arabic we, we call it khalaqa. Khalaqa. Okay, khalaqa. A man, a simple man. Khalaqa is the one who creates, right? Okay. What? It used for a man and for God this, uh, at this same time. Okay, let me let me ask. Do you, you agree or did, not? Did your God Allah He said clearly that the one who can create a fly and above, he is worthy of worship. Do you agree that people we we use the word create for people or not? No, in the not in the term not, in Arabic not, we use it. No, no, the, the term of religion yes. in the term of religion there's only one to create supposedly that is. God. I do not talk about the religion. We talk about yeah, the we, Arabic. We are talking about Arabic Arabic religion. We are not talking about a guy oh, who speak man. about no. This, and even in Arabic, when we Arabic. say the word khalaqa, khalaqa, we are talking about a creation of something giving life to something. No, not always. Okay, uh, this is mean your Quran is a stupid because the Quran in front no, of you. Go to Arabic. Ch no. Chapter twenty-two, verse number seventy-three. Go to, uh, my friend, the Quran in front can of you. you. Go to dictionary Arabic. I just showed you the Quran in front of you. The Quran Search says, about "Are you against the Quran? Are you against the Quran? Are you against the Quran?" I am against your understanding. Yes, of I the Quran. listen, listen. Your God, He gave definition. What Khalaqa mean? The one who can create life, no. the one who can give life. That's what Allah Allah is. Read it, read it. Don't tell me that the go and dictionary. Here we go. It's in front of you. Read the Quran. Are you saying the Quran is wrong? Are you saying the Quran is wrong? I am saying your understanding is wrong because Are you Allah okay? Used then the read, the, then read the Quran. Then correct your God, Allah. Let us say, Amen. let us say the dictionary as you as you say it. It says that what Khalaqa is anyone who creates anything. Bicycle, huh? I will go with you. But Allah is saying that yes. the one who can create a fly and above, he is worthy to worship. 
Yes. Not a bicycle. Who, okay. He, so who is the had, one? He if he somebody, so, worship. Okay. So do you agree that the one who create a fly is worthy of worship? Yes. Okay. But there is another one who is created, but it is not good. Okay. And man can but who is the one? Who is the, who is the one who create a fly in Islam? Show me this verse. Where is where is it's in the front verse? of you? It's on the screen. I didn't see it, guys. Is the screen is coming? No, it says everybody see it. Why didn't see it? Read it, read it, read it. You read it. It says that you are you worshiping someone beside Allah, a person who cannot even create a fly. It doesn't even create a fly. So if you can create a fly, show the Arabic one. Just, just show me the Arabic one. Here we go. Do you know Arabic? Yes. Okay, read it. Here we go. Move the screen. Keep your mouth from the from the mic, please. You are making a bad noise. Okay. Do you see it? Do you see the word يخلقو? You see the word يخلقو? Here we go in front of you. لن يخلقو ذبابا. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. What Allah talking about here is giving a life, not hmm. a normal creation. Okay. So if so, so if, the, if, if a person he create and give life, that's mean he is God. Yes. Well, but okay. I'm telling you, if a man create, because create, but then I create a table, I create something. That's not a creation. Prompt. That's not a creation. This creation, as you see, no, Arabic, no, no, that's not a creation. In that's Arabic, not, you, that is, is not a creation. This is called me. No, you made sanaa, sanaa, not khalaqa. No, I never heard. I never heard of a donkey between the Arabs saying that khalaqtu tawila, sanaatu tawila. Don't don't lie. Sanaatu tawila, not khalaqtu tawila. Stop being a fool. It's, it's, it's have the, the same no, thing no, in my mind. No, 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 answer. No, I no, I know the dictionary. I am the dictionary of Islam. Now answer me. Did, did, you, did your God, did, you, did your God just say, if you create a fly, you are worthy of worship? Yes. Now let me ask you, did Jesus create it in the Quran a bird Where and he breathed worship? into it? Where did he say worship? He says here, are you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you going to worship a person who don't even create a fly? Are you blind or what? Don't You, you said you speak Arabic, don't you? يا أيها الناس ضرب مثلا فاستمعونا إن الذين تدعون من دون الله لن يخلقوا ذبابا. he didn't he didn't say worship. where is the word? do you know what تدعون مين؟ do you know what تدعون مين؟ تدعون call upon call upon yes call upon call upon to worship call upon to worship you call upon God what's wrong with you? he didn't say worship. okay hold on hold on okay it says تدعون من دون الله don't stop playing games من دون الله instead of Allah so instead of calling Allah you are calling them what does that make them? Just calling them doesn't he doesn't mean you get lost. I don't respect liars. I have no time for somebody play games. It's in the front of you. It says it clearly that if you do call beside Allah, which means you worship in somebody, this is about worshiping someone. Liars, liars will end in fire. I have no time for you. Don't waste my time. Any Muslim? The Skype hang up. <clears throat> call me again. Call me again, Abdul. The liar or someone else? Do you see how they lie? It doesn't say clearly that, okay, you know what? Should we go and see the interpretation, guys, and get the Abdul busted? Shall we? If we go to the interpretation, he will cry. He will say, I don't accept the interpretation. Let us go to the interpretation, chapter 22, verse number 73. Here we go. Are you there? Hey, Christian Prince, what is your point in this verse? Uh, my question, uh, that's Allah, we asked the Muslim, what is, who is your God? He is the creator. But, yes. but don't the Quran say that there's other creators? I explain to you what, what it means. Okay. 
Well, let us let us explain. What about we go to the interpretation? Do you have a problem with the interpretation? I have no problem. There, okay. Yes, there's a false, false good and true. And, uh, no, 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 no. Good, no, it's, it's, okay, no, pro only no problem. Good. The verse you said to me, it doesn't say that. Either you are lying or you are telling the truth. So the verse in the front of us, chapter 22, verse number 73, it says this is here is not about worshiping God beside Allah. You said that. So do you stand with your, with your statement or you apologize for lying? I when I when when you say worship, I I, I in Arabic it is yabuduna. But my friend, when, don't when stop say, playing games. Yabuduna. Stop playing games. Stop playing games. If I show you the interpretation and the interpretation agree with me against what you say, are you willing to apologize for you being a liar? I didn't say a liar, but but calling can no be because you're a liar because you speak Arabic. This is not accepted. Uh, this is accepted from somebody who don't speak Arabic who do not know and he is reading just a translation. You speak Arabic, so you have no excuse. So if we show the interpretation and the interpretation agree with me, do you agree that you are lying? In this verse, we, we can see that's the worship, but not yeah, so, not suddenly, not... Guys, suddenly it became worship. Suddenly, suddenly, <laughs> suddenly became. So why you are so arguing? Point, why you made me point? shout? Why you made me shout for 20 minutes? And why you are saying this doesn't say that? And now suddenly, because just because I make, I make it clear, I will show the interpretation. I will get you busted. Suddenly it became a worship. My point is, is your God saying, if somebody can create a fly, he is worthy of worship. That means Jesus is worthy of worship because Jesus did not create a fly no. only. He created the bird. He, he, he didn't create it from himself. He did. By the permission of Allah. This is not true. This is not true. The permission of Allah. But hold on. Who is the one who breathed into the mud? Allah or Jesus? Show the verse. Show me the verse. Don't, before, we show you the, before we show you the verse, who is the one who breathed into the mud? Jesus or Allah? Jesus after the permission of Allah. This is another question. Who is the one who breathed into the mud? The Jesus after the, the, the permission of Allah. We got the permission, potato, tomato. We get that. But who is the one who breathed into the mud? Without the permission of Allah, Allah Jesus cannot create. <laughs> My friend, by the permission of Allah, by the did Allah give me permission to get him spanked every day? Show me. Did your God Allah give me permission, Christian Prince, to spank him every day? Do you have the uh, evidence? I have an evidence of me, me, me. I'm spanking Wait, your God no, every day. You, you are not I'm evidence. making Muslims live in Islam evidence every day. Is from Did your God, Allah, gave me permission to spank him every day? Yes or no? This is your claim, but you don't have evidence. No. I have an evidence. It's me. No. Me, me. Hey, I, no. I spank your God every day, every day. Every day, I, I, I accept what, your, what your God can Quran. do about it. So that the word of permission is a, is a false lie. Do you have a proof that Allah, he gave a permission to Jesus? Go to go to the Idli. Go to the verse. My friend, do you have a do you have a proof that Allah gave any permission to anyone? Yes, but by, by, what is by the, the of Allah. I can I can claim now that I am the one who gave a permission to Allah to be Allah. My friend, my do, friend, I'm not your friend. You are a Muslim. Chapter five, verse fifty-one says, "Take not Christians and Jews and the friends." Stop lying. You, you change so, the topic. Listen, my listen, and here we go in front of you. It says. And I make for you out of the clay, and I and I Don't breathe into it. I breathe into it. Who care about be with me? Who care? Hey, listen, listen. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. You didn't like it, yes. You see, when you say in the permission of Allah, does that mean Allah He gave an, he gave ability to Jesus, or it's mean He gave him just a permission? The permission and the ability. Thank you very much. Let us go with his, with his statement, you guys. Did you hear this? Allah, he gave the ability to create to Jesus. So now we have two creators. As long as he have the ability, it doesn't matter no, who gave... Oh, shut up. doesn't matter who Allah gave... Doesn't, it to, oh, Allah doesn't take permission Let me explain. From Let me explain. Did Allah okay. give the ability to create to anyone else except Jesus? Did Allah take permission from another one? Uh, yes, from me. Prove no, you wrong. Yes. Prove where, it wrong. Where is the proof? Pro prove, uh, you prove it. How come? Show how come, me in the Quran where he see, see how stupid what you are saying? When you say to me, Allah gave a permission to Jesus, you are not willing to show me a proof. When I say, I am the one who gave Allah permission, you are you are saying I to me, I give you the proof? proof in the Quran. <laughs> I will show you in the Quran that I gave Allah permission. Do you want to see that? Show me. Okay. Show me where, where he say Christian Prince. Here we go. I will show you. No problem. Here you go. Let us read with me. Hmm. You can make any claim, but if it is not in the Quran, you can. You no problem. No, no problem. No problem. Here we go. Let us see. Huh?
Read for me, please. What this verse saying? It says, if you have a doubt about your cult, it's called Islam, go to Christian Prince and ask him. A joke, a joke. You are joking. I'm friend. reading Quran for you, Abdul. Read it. Is that Quran or this is the yellow pages of Muhammad? Where, where, where is Christian princes? Uh, we are the Christians. It says those who they are reading the book before you, the Christian and the Jews. Do you want me to show you the interpretation? What is your point from this verse? My point is your God, Allah cannot answer you. He can't answer Muhammad. He said to Muhammad, if you have a problem, go and ask Christian prince. Who? Who? It is Muhammad. It's not, it's not Allah. What? Who, who will ask? Muhammad, Muhammad himself, he is not sure but he's a prophet. Are, we, are we are talking about God, not a Muhammad. No problem, but Allah, your God, what? Allah himself, he could not assist. Shut up, shut up. What your God, you Allah, who is the one saying to Muhammad, if you have a problem, if you have a doubt, don't ask me, ask Christian Prince. Who is the one saying that? Allah. So I am the one who gave a permission to Allah to tell you you're a prophet. You eat it, Muhammad. If you have a problem, come to Christian Prince. Can you prove me wrong? My friend, it is Muhammad here. It's not Allah who will ask. My friend, but who is the one who asked Muhammad to ask? Is it Allah? My friend, is it Allah who will ask you or the Muhammad who will Obviously, ask you? Obviously, Allah have no answer because if Allah have answers, will not ask Muhammad to ask me. Because you are a, you, are, you are stupid. Allah has say if. So you are saying to me. So you if, are saying to me. You know I am if, stupid, but Allah asking us. Okay, hold on, hold on. I will hold you with it your words. Happen. You just said, I, hold on, if. hold on. You, you are saying. You are saying I am a stupid, but your God Allah asking Muhammad to ask me the stupid to guide him. That is the most stupid if, answer ever. Heard. Know what, is if. what if? What is if? If if, if, uh, if uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Happened. So you are saying to uh, saying to me, Allah, he said if, but Muhammad was not in doubt. He never in doubt. Uh, Thank you very much. That's mean Allah cannot be God because Allah here is guessing. No. Because if Allah is all knowing, he should not say if. Either he no, is sure Allah or he's not. Gives you the... No, 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 no. You just said uh, Muhammad, he never have doubt, which means this verse have no need for it. Muhammad, no, Muhammad, he never, you, everybody heard you saying Muhammad, he never have a doubt. So this verse is a shish kebab potato. Why Allah saying no, to him, if, no, if no, Muhammad no. never, if. This is your understanding. Abdul, when I say to you, if you are hangry, go and eat, but you don't, you never eat. That's mean I do not know if you are hangry or not. I'm just effing. This is how stupid your God is. This is this is your your, your stupidity of you your understanding. You are the one who said that, not me. Just you said I Allah. Say he said if, if, if but Muhammad he never did, right? You are the one who said that, not me. So why yes, Allah saying yes. if? Okay, let me ask you, just for the sake of argument, your God Allah, Mister Mister Allah, Mister if, Mister if, your God Allah, Mister if, He said to Muhammad, if you have a doubt about your religion, go and ask Christian Prince. Why Allah saying to him, go and ask if you have a doubt? Unless he trusts us that we have the answer and we are the one who can correct Muhammad answer. Well, he said correct. Why you are lying? Well, he's asking him if you have a doubt, go and ask us. Are you are you stupid or what? About what? About him being a prophet. <laughs> well, he say about about a it says prophet. that it says about what we reveal to thee. Read it. Muhammad, he have a doubt about what is revealed to thee. What is revealed to thee? The Quran. So Muhammad, he suspect that the Quran is coming from God, which means he suspect that he's a prophet of God. So you, your God, Mr. F, we will change his name. His name is not Allah no more. Mr. F, Allah, 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 the F God. He is saying to Muhammad, if you have a doubt, go and ask Christian Prince. And then you say to me, but Muhammad, well, you don't have Christian a doubt. Prince, you are, yeah. Yes, Mr. F. The, the, the you, word F doesn't my, mean it my friend, do, do you want to call do you want to call Zakir Naik if you wish? I will expose you without okay. the Okay, do you, want, do you need to call do you know call the dad if he is alive? What is your point? My point if you are smart, can you please explain to us why Allah he said if but Muhammad he don't need the if. Secondly, in why Arabic, Allah oh, shut up, if... shut up. You, you asked me what a point, let me tell you my point. Let me please. When you say to me, What's your point? After speaking to you for 20 minutes, yet you did not get my point. That's mean if you, you, will, how you change if you understand, you I did not change the topic. God, ask him. Abdul, you change it now to Muhammad, ask him. Abdul, if your God is a smart, he should not say, If you have a doubt, go if you have a doubt, ask Christian Prince. Because if a Christian Prince is a fake man, is Christianity is deceived. Christianity is false. So how stupid it is to say to Muhammad, who is a prophet of God, to be guided by the one is misguided.
You, we start this discussion by my friend. saying that Jesus creates, but See, here we go. Here no, we go. You here we go. Why here you here choose this topic? Let, let your dad call me. Now he don't like the topic no more. You are the one who said to me, show me. And now you are saying to me, why you change the topic, you idiot? Aren't you the one who said to me, show me where Christian prince we can fall in the Quran? Now he don't like it no more. Why you change the topic? If I wonder if I wonder off. Hello? Hello? Filthy animal. A Muslim Abdul is calling me and showing me his penis. Praise be to Allah. <laughs> yes, Mr. Abi. Fucking nigger! Fucking nigger! Fucking nigger! Praise be to Allah. This is the wisdom of Allah. The racism of Islam. The devil is going crazy because I'm spanking their God. Do you see what we do? The one who said to me, how you can prove to me that Jesus is God? My friend, look what's happening. Yes. Wow, this Moroccan guy or Algerian guy is really stupid. Okay, are you a Muslim, my friend? No, no, I left Islam, but oh, you left this Islam. Moroccan what happened? guy. What happened? Why you left Islam? It's a stupid religion. Come on, man. Me. Don't you want to have in this uh, private part and a lot of women naked? Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing about a uh, contract with a uh, telecom company. You will <laughs> use my private part. <laughs> really good one. But uh, the Algerian guy is truly stupid. So, my friend, why, why, you, left, why, why you left Islam, my friend? The stupidity, it's really stupid religion. It's a stupid religion, I agree with you. But how a, how a human being can be so stupid to accept this cult? I mean, brainwashing. Crazy. We got to be the brainwashing, yeah. Crazy. Well, my friend, I'm happy for you that you did you leave Islam uh, like long time ago or after watching my videos? I mean, watching your videos definitely helped me. All right, that's wonderful. Definitely, yeah. All right, well, I'm happy. Yeah, for you thank you for your work. Thank you. And, uh, keep exposing those abdos. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. And to that Algerian guy, uh, says just what the kelp. I think he's a Moroccan. I think. Uh, yeah, he's Moroccan. Yeah, Moroccan. Yeah. We know Moroccan are hot-headed people. Well, so, yeah. you know, there's keep there's good them. people, bad people everywhere. We we can't say, but he is. Uh, you know, I don't blame. He's trying to defend his God, but as you said, he's being yeah. stupid. You know. Let him try, but at the end, I I don't see him uh, as a Muslim. Yeah, he's a he's a true Muslim actually. The, the true Muslim is the one who lie as much as he can. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's see how long he lasts. All right. Let's see how long. Let us see. Thank you very much for calling, yeah. my friend. Thank no you. problem. Take care. Keep it. All right. Do we have any Muslim here? If, if Allah, he said to me, if you have adopted, if go and call a Christian prince, if, 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 if. What an if! What a unique if! Call me only if you are a Muslim, please, or an ex-Muslim. If you are a Muslim or an ex-Muslim, you can call me. <clears throat> okay, this is a, here we go. We have a Muslim here trying to call. Let us see what this guy want to say. You hang up. How brave. You Christian, you have nothing to say about the prophecy about Romans being defeated. Okay, let me get you busted with this. You see, my friend, when the Muslim they say about the Roman being defeated, this is a prophecy. This is proving to me that you Muslims, you do not know even what the prophecy means. Hold on, please. Let me show you how stupid that chapter about the Roman, and it is a false prophecy. A chapter of the Roman. The news came to Muhammad that the Roman being defeated, and Muhammad he said, after people they made fun of the Roman for being defeated, he said, and he said, in the close by land. This is the Muslim translation. And then he said, Are you a Muslim, my friend? Hello? Hello? Yes. 
Go ahead. Okay, don't call me then. If you aren't a Muslim, don't call me, please. I will block you. Okay. The Muslim they say that Muhammad he said within a few years with Allah decision the Roman will be victorious. But look what Muhammad he did. He used the word few, and the word few in Arabic is bidu isinin. That's mean between three to nine years, and took them more than seventeen years. To get the victory again, so Muhammad was a false prophet. Go and get my book and laugh at your prophet saying Buddha. And by the way, they were not even being totally victorious until almost 20 years after. Because this is a war goes for more than 300 years. And what Muhammad he said, he made an assumption. Well, those Roman and the Jew and and the, and the the Persian, they are fighting for more than three hundred years. Sometimes the Roman win, sometimes the, the 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 Persian win. So okay, they made fun of uh, etc. So let us say, say that those they will they will win in a few years. But Muhammad was a failure when he said that. Same time, you will notice here something. Muhammad he said something stupid in this verse. Anyone notice with me? What is additional to few years in the verse? Is a stupid. Who notice? Who noticed that there is something extremely stupid there? Extremely stupid. The believers will be rejoiced. Thank you. So people who they are learning. So guys, why the Muslim will rejoice if the Roman they win? Is it Muhammad a few years after he decided to attack the Roman? Because they are disbelievers. So why the believers will rejoice? Because at that moment, Muhammad was a plain to be Christian. So they were making fun of him. Where is your God? The God of the Roman, the God of Jesus. How the Roman, they are defeated. So Muhammad, he answered them. And you can read the interpretation. Muhammad, he answered them. They, he, they, Allah, he told me they will win in a few years. Which means between three to nine. He used the word Bada. So here you see the hypocrisy and the stupidity of Muhammad. How you will be rejoicing for the Roman to be victorious if you are, if they are your enemy. If this is a prophecy, what is a stupidity is? Don't call me, buddy. I told you, don't call me if you are not a Muslim. Let me block you. Some people are really weird. I just told you, you told me in text, I'm not a Muslim. I said, don't call me unless you are a Muslim. And you keep calling me. Do we have any brave Abdul? Any beautiful Abdul? Anyone? Who is next? This is the most silly, stupid religion. And if you are a fool, anyone can convince you with anything. But I cannot find in this cult anything really truthful. You see, as an example, Muhammad, he made a prophecy as long as we are talking about the Roman. Shall we talk about the Roman? Guess what Muhammad he said about the Roman? He said that the Roman, be, before the judgment day, they will be the major number of population in the world. What? <laughs> the Roman, they will be the majority of the world? Isn't it this is alone is enough to prove to us that Muhammad is nothing but a scam? Read it. This is Sahih Muslim. You want to show it from different hadith? This is Sahih. Uh, all is this is this is all is correct. Sahih. Huh? Read with me. I heard Allah Messenger saying, "The last hour would not come when the Roman would form the majority of mankind, of the people." So Muhammad, he made a prophecy that the Roman, they will be the majority. 
Where is the Roman now? Huh? I want to know. I want to meet this, the the country. It's called the Roman. What is that? Is that Italy? Italy now is the majority of mankind. <laughs> you want to talk about the Roman, my friend? When you say something to Christian Prince, you better watch your mouth. Anything you say to me is going to be used against you in the court of a Christian prince, even if it was if, as we saw in the Quran, if. Do you see how if can destroy your God? If God, he said to Muhammad, if you have a doubt, go and ask Christian prince, if. But Muhammad, he have no doubt, so Allah, he made if, wrong if. Shut up, I talk too much. I am here to talk and you are here to listen Abdul are you how stupid you are I mean how stupid of you to listen to me if I talk too much and you complain about me talking too much and yet you are listening look like you are from the F nation do we have any Muslim here who is a smart Muslim he want to come to us with F the Abdul who called me and he's showing his penis I mean, glory to Allah, my friend. A glory to Allah who made you have a penis like a donkey. And by the way, it was hard to see. I was looking like, what is that? Is that a little pen or something? But ah, it's a it's a penis. I I thought it's a frog doing something. Do we have any Abdul? What a stupid cult. Do you see why Muslims leave Islam, my friend? You are a Muslim who cannot get in live stream. What I can do to you, my friend? Hello. Hey, Christian friends. I'm back. Uh, we have told yes a lot. Okay. Uh, I have seen that you are speaking about the Romans. Right. And I image. Uh, I remember that uh, I <laughs> watched a video in a, in the past hmm. that they told me yes between three and nine years there was a victory of uh, the. Romans, right? Mm. That then it would be a prophecy, right? Mm. But you say it, it it was seventeen years. More actually, Can more more than seventeen. Because the the, the first defeat, the first the mm. first time they have like you, you can go right now to Wikipedia, <clears throat> and you can check because it's not one battle of war. You know, it's many. So oh, after okay. they've been defeated, then the Roman they made a small victory, but the final yeah. victory is happened many years, many years after. You know. Uh, okay. And that was so that, only and 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 the defeat and even which mean even the small battle which is they won still uh, more than ten years you know what I mean so both yeah. way it doesn't matter what it is going to be it's not That's going to fair. fit same time if we are in war and we did not have a final where we announce who is the winner and the other one is defeated that means defeat is not done because the verse is speaking yeah. about they will be defeated not just will win a ball you know or, or, a four so uh, it's, so it is about a defeat and the Roman they were defeated long after. You will okay, see, and, we, and, and, and the interpretation, and the, and the interpretation, they say that this is about the city of Al Basra, you know, uh, sorry, Basra, Basra Sham, yeah. which where supposedly the fight happened according to the Muslims, and the Persian they were victorious over the uh, 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 the, the Roman, but then yeah. you go and you check, you find that you know you check the list of uh, of the of the fight between the Roman and and uh -huh. the, the Persian. We will find that this is not really too much accurate. However, the most mm -hmm. close fight was close to the date Muhammad he spoke in his existence. Yeah. It's far away from the time. The most uh, they try to explain, they say to us all, oh, like once I was debating with the Sheikh, he said to me, 
maybe you know that at the time of Muhammad there was no internet there's no fax so maybe it uh, took him it took him some time to receive the message this is why it's delayed I said mm. so what, what are you saying to me Muhammad he received Allah he told him it was a slow Allah he was a slow so he sent him the message seven years after the the, the fight happened <laughs> You know, okay, okay, okay. You know yeah. what I mean? How silly they are. They are, they are not smart. So, if uh, if Allah, the one who told him, what do you mean the news came slow? It's, uh, immediately it would be. The Allah, the one who yeah. told him that the, the, the deceived, they will be there. <laughs> yeah, it should be immediately. <clears throat> uh, but uh, can I check up this history? My friend, it's my book. You can read. You can read my book. Okay. And you can check in the eye. You can check, check up. If anything I say to you, go check it out. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Of yeah. course. Of course. All right, my friend. Uh, Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, yes, and uh, in the past, before uh, uh, Muhammad has uh, revealed this verse, or um, there has been uh, fights between Romans and Persia, right? Persia. Three more than more than three hundred years. More okay, than, and more than years. Uh, sometimes Romans. Win, like my friend, sometimes... my friend. Let, let let us say this. We have a yeah. war for 300 years between the Russian and the American. And then the Christian prince, he says, the American today, they are defeated, tomorrow they will win. I mean, they're, they're, the war is continuing. It's not like <laughs> over. I mean, they are, okay, they okay, are fighting okay. for the last three centuries. What is new? Okay, it's not... It's it not. Uh, sometimes the Roman, sometimes the Roman win, sometimes the Roman lose. It's not a big yeah, deal. Yeah. So I'm. it's like, it's like yeah. saying, to, saying, saying to you, you are doing gambling. Today you lose, tomorrow you will win. Or soon yeah, you will okay, win. Okay. But this will happen normal. There's no way he will lose always. <laughs> okay, okay, I understand. Yeah. I will check up. But do you see the hate in front of you? Do you see the hate in front yeah. of you? I mean, how, how isn't this enough to be prove that he's a liar? <laughs> because he says uh, when the ones would form a majority amongst people, uh, that he will the last hour, yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course. All right, my friend, thank yeah, you very much yes, for calling. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah. an another question, if it's okay for you, sure. Maybe for you, it's interesting. Uh, they say that uh, another miracle is in. Surah 86, okay. verse 1 to 3. It's about um, 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 Tariq. Um, hmm. They say to Muslims that it means to um, Pulsar. You know what I mean, a Pulsar? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what is the exact meaning of the first two or three verses? And Najmu Tariq is a visitor, is not what they are saying. Have nothing to ah, do. Ah, because they tell to us it means the uh, mm, no, my friend. The no, no, my friend. The the this is a star. The yeah. Arab they call him a Tariq because he is a star who visit them in the middle of the night. It is not what they yeah. say. It's the morning star too. So at the same time, why Allah? He swear by the sky and this is star. What is the business of mm. Allah? Right. So yeah. have nothing to do what the Muslim try today to make it look like. If you read the interpretation of the Muslims made for centuries, nobody came with this. But today they try to apply science into it. But as long as they are yeah, saying yeah. this is a science, isn't it in the same chapter, which is a very small chapter, chapter 86, yes. verse number 6 and 7 says that Allah, he make the gushing fluid of the women come from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. <laughs> chapter 86 chapter 86 verse number six yeah. let me go there verse number six yeah. and verse number seven this is verse number six yeah let us go to the interpretation yes yes do you see it and then allah yes. explained saying he created you from gushing fluid into the womb of the woman and then verse number seven what is that gushing fluid Okay, mm. it is it issue means, from uh, between the backbone, not lions, backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. So how this this is Quran full of miracle, and they are quoting for us that a chapter when in the same chapter, just two verses after saying Allah saying that women she have a sperm coming from her ribs. Okay, okay, enough for me. Okay. Yeah, but Thank women, you. by the way, Middle Eastern women they are different from Western women. Just to let you know, our women in the Middle East they have breast testicles. What do they have? Breast testicles. Breast what means testicles? Yeah, they don't have boobs, they have balls in their chest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, my friend, Thank for calling. All right. I have to. All right. I mean, this is how stupid this religion is. Who in the world want to believe that women have a sperm? First of all, women don't have a sperm. Secondly, since when women have a sperm coming from the location of the necklace, not only the ribs. This is God. And not only that, here they fabricate the translation. They say the loins of the man. It's not the loins of the man. It is the backbone.
Hello. Hello. Is yes. it Christian Prince? Yes. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. Oh, thank you for answering my call, mate. Okay, uh, ex-Muslim, and I need to ask you a couple of questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you know Muhammad's father? His name was Abdullah. Yeah? Right. As the Muslim claim. Okay. All right. Okay. Because uh, I was wondering if Muhammad introduced Allah, then who was this Abdullah? You so see, I you was... see, uh, in in the Middle East, until now, if somebody is unknown by name, we say Abdullah Fulan. I don't know if you speak Arabic or not. So Abdullah no, Fulan, no. which means unknown slave of Allah. Yeah. Okay. Muhammad was a son of unknown man. Okay. So he they call him the slave, uh, uh, the son of the slave of Allah, because the Muslim agree that the father of Muhammad, even Muhammad, he says, "My father and your father in hellfire." Okay, so if okay. Muhammad he is the slave of Allah, how he will go to fire? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. If I am, if I am, my name is a slave of Allah, and then yeah. I say Muhammad, he says, a man he came to him. The story is as the following: a man he came to Muhammad. I don't know if you can see the screen. Do you see it? Um, I see it. Yeah. Okay. So a man came to Muhammad and he said to him, "Is my where is my father?" Muhammad he said, "Your father in hell." The man he turned his back, he's upset, he's sad. So Muhammad he continues saying, Hey, hey, by the way, your father and my father in hellfire. So we they got company. <laughs> All right. So how Muhammad is the slave of Allah, but yet his father in hellfire. Makes sense. All right. Simply, Muhammad is a son of unknown father. Even in Islamic books, it says, and you can read that in my books, you will see that Muhammad was born four years after his father's death. Have you ever heard of somebody born four years after his father's death? Does it make sense? No. Do you, do you know? Do you know what is the the period of a, a, a woman being liberated in Islam? What well, is it for? Four years? <laughs> the, this is the lowest number. It can be actually. The, some of them they say even up to ten years. Wow. Yeah. Like uh, uh, you know, like uh, depend in who is the one interpretation you are reading from. But if we go, we I can find. I don't know. You don't speak Arabic, do you? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, sadly, because uh, most of this madness is in Arabic, uh, it's in Arabic, yeah. yeah. But and I, I, I watch your videos and I see, you know, <laughs> the way uh, you know, our inter uh, you know, they translate it to make it look better, make it look uh, more towards uh, modern science so they can so they don't, you know, get embarrassed too much. So they change the meanings. Like, I watch your videos, I mean, yeah, it doesn't uh, matter, still, we get them busted. Here we go. This is the book of Jami' Ali Ahkam al Quran. Yeah. I will show you the, the book. It says it clearly that a Muslim woman, she gave birth to her son and she was a Britain for four years and he have a growing hair and teeth. Let me show you that. Have you ever oh, heard of somebody, she she was a Britain for four years? Simply just to cover the shame of Muhammad, you know, they claim that he is the son of etc. from a noble family, etc. So they have they have to, to fabricate the stories. And here we go, you know. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, all right. وقال الضحاك وضعتني أمي وقد حملت بي في بطنها سنتين. For etc. And then he says, he continue here. They say. Uh, وقال حماد بن سلمة إنما سمي هرم بن حيان هرما لأنه بقي في بطن أمه أربع سنين. The guy Hamad he said the Hamad the son of Salama he said. That the guy, his name uh, called Haram, which means older, bin Hayyan, because simply he was inside his mother Billy for four years. All right, and then he says, "وقال عباد بن العوام ولدت جارة لنا جارة لنا لأربع سنين غلاما شعره إلى من كبي." Our neighbor, her, uh, she she gave birth to a boy, and his hair was growing down to his ass. Oh, sorry, to, to, to his shoulder, sorry, to his shoulder, Ben Kibay. Uh, right. And, uh, you know, there's tons of reference, Ibn al-Arabi as an example. So you will see everyone giving you a different date, and they go, and all of them, they agree, that a, a, a woman, she can be a, a bretnet up to 10 years, and even some, they say, even more than 10 years. This is why, uh, look at this here, the story here. Let me see if I can find this story in English. Let us see. Uh, <clears throat> All right, let us see. All 
I don't think we will find this in our in English, but we, we can try. No, we cannot find it in our in English, but no problem. Uh, Ali, this is the book know, of Sunan. This, this is the book of Sunan al Duraqi. Sunan al Duraqi. This is the book. Muslims can watch and can see. Here we go. Al Imam al Hafiz ibn Ali, uh, Ali ibn Umar al Duraqi. Okay, he died in the year three hundred eighty-five. After Hijrah, go back. This is the hadith in front of us. The women, here we go. Hmm? Uh, a woman, she have a husband, <laughs> she have a husband, she have a husband, she have a guy he said his name is Abu Yahya. He said, a day he came to Muhammad, he said to him, please, you know, uh, uh, Sorry, a guy. His name is Malik. A guy. He came to him. He says, "Pray to my to my wife. She is a pregnant since four years, and now she have a lot of sadness." So Malik, he was so upset, and he closed the Quran, and he says, "Don't the people know that we are, uh, 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 you know, we are not prophet?" Uh, uh, then he did read uh, to him, and then he says. Allahumma hadihi al-mar'a in kana fi batniha reeh fa akhrujhu min al-sa'a Allah Allah please if this woman she have gas in the front and in, inside her belly let the gas go out and if there is inside her uh, 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 like a, a female a girl it change, exchange it with boy here we go and then because you are the one who erase what you want and you put what you want and you are the one who have the mother of the books and then he rose his head in hand and all the people rose their hands. And then وَجَاءَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَى الرَّجُلِ فَقَالْ أَدْرِكْ أَمْرَأَتَكَ فَذَهَبَ الرَّجُلِ The Prophet, he said to him, go to your wife, like she's giving, she giving birth. And then the man, he went, and he, when he arrived, before he left the, the mosque, a person, he came, and he is carrying a child in his, with him. He have a, a curly hair, and he was the son of four years, and he have long teeth, and he still he have his uh, what they call it the the thing attached to the belly bomb. I don't know what they call it in English. You know, cord. Yeah. So the cord, right? So so um, here we go. Your the, the prophet of Islam. He prayed to the guy. The imam. They pray for the guy. And the guy right away. His wife. She delivered after four years. She delivered him a boy. And his the boy. His teeth is growing. And he have a long hair. And this is a true story. <laughs> Supposedly, true story. Supposedly, yeah. yeah. Welcome to Islam. Who dare? Who dare to say it's not true anyway? Wow, this is so full of shit. I mean, there's just there's too much nonsense in it. I don't understand how people still believe in this year. It's just unbelievable. Well, they are leaving. Right. Oh, you oh, know, this is why we are sharing knowledge, question. my friend. Yeah. Another question. You know the verse, um, Surah eighteen eighty six. You know the famous Son verse. Eighteen. Son, you eighteen know, what? Eighteen what? Eighteen eighty six. Eighty. Chapter uh, 18, chapter 18, you chapter mean? 18, verse 86. Chapter 18, yeah, okay, verse 86. What about it? Yeah, 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 you know, the way where they claim you know the sun sets in um, uh, muddy water, yeah. you know, the word wajada it been used twice in that way, uh, in that, in that verse. Is that true? Yeah, well, wajada here I mean he found is it, it the same, wajada? Found. yes, wajada, wajada is is a, is a, is a word mean he found it sitting in murky water he found it the muslim they say this is how it appeared to him but it says yeah. wajada and wajada mean that he found it it's allah is reporting it's not the guy is talking allah is saying he found it so how you know it says actually here if you read with me hatta idha balagha maghrib ash-shams wajadaha taghribu fi ayn hamya wa wajada indaha and he found next to it people who they say to him etc yeah. yeah, because you know they they translate you know the second part as if you know he found it, and you know the the first part as um, it appeared to him. So they change the meaning. To, no, you this know, is just the first translation. Wait, wait, where is the word appear? Where, where is they the word appear? Not here. I mean, the translations I've learned. I know, uh, but they're lying. They're trying to because people are laughing. This is obviously cannot be uh, from God. But as you see, Muslims for centuries, centuries, nobody says it says here clearly. And he where he he, he tell he we reach the sitting place of the sun, where the sun set, he found it sitting in a muddy spring. And hold on, even if the Muslim try to avoid that, what what they will do with their prophet? Because their prophet he cannot keep his mouth shut, because their prophet he explained the verse. 
Yeah, he's a the Hadith there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, clearly say that it's in uh, he said that water. in in a, in a murky water. So yeah. when the Muslims, uh, when the Muslims say uh, say such a thing, you know, they assume that you are an ignorant. You do not know how to yeah. reach out. I I brought that up in front of one of the Muslim, and he goes, "No, this thing is going to happen in future." I was like, "What do you mean is going to happen in future?" Yeah, do you see it's, it? Here we go. This is Muhammad. It is, it, this is, is Muhammad saying translation of what Quran says. Yeah, this is Muhammad saying that he was uh, uh, Abu 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 Dar. Uh, he said, yeah. "I was sitting behind the Messenger of Allah, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting." He asked, "Do you know where this set?" Speaking about the sun, he yeah. I replied, "Allah and His Messenger knows best." And then he said. It's set in a spring of warm water. Yes. So how they which can you, say? Uh, yeah. Which clearly agrees with what Quran says. Yeah. Yeah, but they will say uh, this is a fabricated hadith anyway. <laughs> is it actually fabricated? I mean, um, on uh, Muslims' principle, I mean, is it actually fabricated or is it sahih? How they can say it's the, all of this is sahih, my friend? Sunan Abi Dawood is a sahih, authentic book. The sahih in Islam is six books, and here yeah, we go. Is, Read with me carefully. It says Sahih in chain. Do you see it? Yeah, it says Sahih in chain, but it doesn't say the grade. But it doesn't matter because the whole book actually, this is not even. This is a new Albani is a new guy who is an Albani anyway. But they they try to defend their prophet and they start start saying, okay, this is we will take it off. If you read even the book of Asira by Ibn Ishaq, from the beginning he said anything that not fit with our prophet we delete it. Who are you to delete it? Does it not fit? Yeah. You know, so just today, you know, I don't, I don't really let my friends know that I'm an ex-Muslim. But I was just talking to them today and asking them, okay, uh, what if Quran says this and Hadith says this? Uh, you know, completely opposite. They say, and my friend said, oh, we throw everything out. You know, if if it doesn't go with Quran, we throw it out. That's false. Because like, as an example, as an example, just take what no, it's like just to show them that this is a lie. What about the Quran says you do muta? The Hadith says you don't do muta. Which one they follow? Yeah, I watched that video as well of yours. See, I mean, like... there's so much information that you provide is unbelievable. And you know, uh, do you think you know the you know the proper Muslim imam, you know, who actually read Arabic, who can actually understand Arabic, you know, do you think they all they all know this stuff and they still carry on following you, or they just faking it because they they have no choice? Well, there's a lot of people leaving Islam anyway, you know. Uh, uh, but uh, as as we said, not everybody he listen, he say, he call, he say, I left Islam. But I received tons of messages in Skype saying, I left Islam, please don't show my name, etc. Don't speak about me. And people, they call, even like the one who called just before you, he's an ex-Muslim, and you're an ex-Muslim too. So yeah. a lot of people leave. But, you know, the, the uh, uh, you know, who how we know how many, no, no way we will know. But obviously, there's no way a human being, he have a little brain, he will stay in this cult. Yeah, I mean, it's just so many things in Islam, man. It just it just boggles your mind. Like, how can one believe in this, this, this nonsense? Yeah, like prophet going up this, you know, on a wing. And you course. see, when somebody speak Arabic, like I don't know, you were listening from the beginning. When the guy he called me and he just, said to me, "Show me where Christian prince," and we showed him if this if alone is enough to prove Allah to be false. Yeah, just if. <laughs> I just joined like wait, five minutes ago. I mean, okay, okay. go uh, later. You can listen to the whole thing and you can I'll, I'll, I'll watch it again. You once your life finishes, all right. I'll watch friend. it from the beginning. Thank you. Thank you for calling very much. Feel free to call me again nice, anytime. Nice, you nice wish. Thank you. Thank all you. Right. Bye bye. All right, guys. I think for us it's time to go. I know there's 1,100 something people they are watching, but it's still, you know. This topic is endless, but this is the best thing about what we do here. This is a this is a free school, and what you learn here, you will never learn anywhere. As you see, we show you on the screen. I never say something without proving the proof. I never say a statement without showing on the screen. If something I cannot show, I will be really upset. And you notice with me sometimes I spend even sometimes five minutes to find something because I, there's no way I can save all this reference. It's in my head. But just to find it and put it for you on the screen, sometimes it's really it's not easy. But uh, you know, usually I, I I put it there in a few seconds. But I don't speak of something unless I prove it. And this is what makes Muslims upset from me, because air, they keep saying to me, "Show me your face," because they don't want you to see the screen. Who need my face? My face will not prove this hadith for you. You know what I mean? 
Show us your face as an executor so they will not come close to me. And those who they have, they claim to be scholars, they keep their career because here is a career ending. Not a guy like Hijab, he do mockery of people. Hijab yesterday, they said the Christian prince was making fun of me. Hijab, he said, a Christian prince, he like, he have a problem with niqab. <laughs> niqab is hiding behind the veil. But the idiot, he forgot that his God himself is behind the veil. And not only that, the irony is that Muhammad Hijab himself, his last name is Veil. So if Veil is a shame, I wonder why your people call you Muhammad behind the veil. Is that because you men who they are from this family, they force you to wear a veil because you are not man enough? Isn't it funny to say and to make fun of Veil? Christian Prince is speaking from behind the veil. When your last name is Veil, are you, are you certified stupid or what? Muhammad himself will be behind the veil. Your God Allah is behind the veil. Muhammad said that his God never spoke to anyone except from behind the veil. Chapter 42, verse number 51. And not only that, Muhammad Hijab, he said, you know what, maybe he doesn't even exist. Why? Because I speak from behind the veil. Well, that will go to your God too. You just prove to us that your Muslims don't believe in Allah because he is behind the veil and maybe he does not exist. And you are the one, everybody can go and watch the video. You are the one who said maybe he does not even exist and maybe he is not even a human. Not me who said that. Go watch it. This is how silly, this is how trashy they try to, to insult in order to avoid debating me. But my friend, whatever you say to Christian Prince is going to be used against you. I am a Christian prince and my Lord he made me prince and your religion and your cult is being defeated every day Niango. anyway guys I think we have enough for today I hope we have a good time together and I hope that's more and more Muslims will leave this cult and uh, please download my video share them and don't forget to subscribe invite your friends tell your friends share knowledge with your friends don't be selfish what you learn here share it with people and i advise you always to take notes download the videos because later maybe the video will not be found it and one day i said something to you you say oh where we can find this now i don't know where to find it don't call me don't call me kid You want to show me your penis again? First time it was very hard to find where it is. So now are you going like did you did you make a surgery? <laughs> Imagine how filthy. They are trying to prove me wrong by calling and opening their camera showing their private part. Robin, you are a Muslim? Robin, you are a Muslim. Hello. Oh, hello, Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. How are you? Hi. Um, I'm a Christian here, and uh, just a quick uh, question. Okay. Um, there is a hadith that I read some time back, and this is about um, Muhammad prophesying about uh, the time when he he'll be the first one to cross a bridge across uh, hell hmm. and i will, will receive him. yeah what about it yeah. and uh, the thing is um, i'm not sure if the muslims can understand that because uh, all the biblical prophets are in heaven and even muhammad supposedly met moses in heaven but how is he uh, why is he the most the seal of all prophets in hell and he'll be the first one on judgment day to go to heaven and you know how does that come up in Islam? Well, you know there is tons of stupid things Muhammad he mentioned. This is not the only thing, but the the the, the sirat is uh, is not an Arabic word. It's taken from the Persian religion. The Persian, uh, the the Zor Zorizist, they believe that in the judgment okay. day, God he will make a bridge, and the bridge people will walk over it. And those who they are bad, it's like a filter. You know the filter. 
yeah you know, like a filter machine yeah so like the one okay. who is bad some of them their legs will go down to fire like only they will burn half of them some of them they will they will not be burned so they will go over yeah. the bridge and depend in how bad or good you are you will be so muhammad is the first one to cross the bridge but muhammad in different places he said something different i mean muhammad is a guy he cannot be consistent in anything he say yes we cannot take we cannot take what he say as uh, as a uh, as a statement of of a, of a human being who have an intelligence because he says something in the morning he says something in the opposite afternoon that's right yeah yeah, yeah it, it's uh, that's right yeah because when we debate the uh, the muslims and they say that he's uh, well it's just a bridge across hell but it's not that he's coming from hell he's just crossing hell no no muhammad uh, no muhammad he <laughs> confirmed no in the quran in the quran okay. The Quran says, okay. which means not even a single of you, but he will enter it. And yeah. actually, not only he will enter it, he will drink from it, which means he, he will, like in, in Arabic, we say, what are the shay? It's mean he, he, he came to it and he became in it. Uh, the same as like a drinking from the water. So, not a single of you, but he is going to be in hell. All of you will enter. There's no exception. So, when a Muslim, uh, he says to to us uh, such a statement uh, that uh, uh, you know uh, uh, some prophet they will go to heaven, heaven first, etc. This is against the Quran because yeah. the Quran is making it so clear that not even one of you, not there's no exception. This is in chapter nineteen, verse okay. number seventy-one. So if if you go if you go right now, okay, and see the interpretation, you will see. The Muslim they try to defend they say except the Prophet, you know, but this is the Quran doesn't okay. say that the Quran says not even one of you Read it. Okay. Do you see it? Uh, yeah, I'm not on YouTube, but uh, oh, okay. I, I can get it, it says there is not one of you but shall approach it approach what hell? hell right? Okay, okay. They're not a single one of you Here they okay. hear they said in the exclusion of the Prophet, but this is not in the verse if we change okay. the interpretation, this is Ibn Abbas. We change the interpretation. Read carefully. Okay. There's not one of you, but shall come to it, and that shall enter hell. That is in, in etc. Already decreed for your Lord, etc. So not even one. This is a Jalalain. So okay. Not even a single Muslim he will not enter hell. Let's see. And here we see contradiction with what uh, some hadith saying. You know, uh, okay. because if. Uh, what here what here assuming is or teaching that everybody will enter hell and then Allah will take from hell yes. People he want to go to heaven So yeah, so so everybody will go to hell. Yes, but <clears throat> but if I put a, put in a question uh, with the Muslim saying that okay All the biblical prophets are in heaven according to the Bible uh, But where is Muhammad right now and they say something like Barak or Barak or some place which is not hell and which is not heaven, but he's somewhere there and, well, as you uh, see, there's a contradiction because the bridge supposedly is not hell, is not heaven yet, right? Yeah. So it's a location, yeah. but where is location? We do not know. But here, right. Muhammad is saying, if there is a bridge, so how we will enter hell if we are going over it? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. So it's yeah. a it's a stupid it's a it's a chain of stupidity, and the Muslim because they are confused about how to explain their their uh, uh, the Quran, uh, uh, they come with different meaning, and they, nobody agree with anyone. This is why you see the Muslim when they give interpretation for anything they say and Allah knows best This is like a disclaimer, you know, uh, yeah like, uh, 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 Nobody knows really what uh, Muhammad he said and even Muhammad himself. He do not know even the Quran says in chapter 3 verse number 7 uh, 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 That nobody knows really what the Quran means save Allah so uh, 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 that, that that makes a bad argument because why would Allah even uh, given a book uh, where, where no one can understand except him. So what's not the only whole that, not, especially yeah. after he said in the Quran that we made it clear. Yeah. You know? <laughs> How you say we made this book clear, and then we have we need we need ten thousand interpretation, and after the ten thousand yeah. interpretation, we don't understand what it, what it's trying to say. You know. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's really okay. stupid. Okay. Thanks very much. Thanks for your info, and keep up the good work. Thank, Thank you. you for calling. Thank you. Cheers. Chris. Bye. All right, guys. I think we have done. We are done for today. And for those who they are saying they are Christians. Okay. Hello. Are you there? 
Here we go again. Abdul is happy. He want to show his penis. <laughs> My friend, I advise you to give your penis for your prophet because as you see in the hadith says he used to imagine himself having sex, but in fact he did not. I hope you are not imagining the same thing now, right? Yeah, let me let me uh Okay, I want to debate you, but I made got caught. I may got caught. Dubbed in Allah. Okay, don't doubt what you think about. Okay, my friend, next time you can call me and you can debate me. No problem. Playing fake Quran make you fool, feel cool. Bunch of kids, my friend. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah um, I'm, I'm an ex-Muslim. Oh, you're ex-Muslim, okay. Yeah, yeah. What, guess, uh, what make you an ex-Muslim, my friend? Why you leave Islam? Oh, man. Uh, various reasons. Uh, I don't know where to begin. I'd say, um, uh, there's like the story of this, um, this is, I should say one of them was like um the, the Trinity, I guess. The Trinity? The NGO. Yeah, the NGO. Oh, you mean the one he speak about uh, Jesus? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Okay, yeah, the Trinity and the Quran, you mean, okay. Yeah, and, and uh, you could say, you know, um, I mean, you know, like this, this uh, ex Muslim testimonies and all that, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I was uh, when, when I became a Christian, it was it was thanks to Islam. So, yeah. All right. Well, good for you, my friend. Maybe you can call me some other time because today our time is up. I appreciate your call yeah. and feel free to call me again when you wish. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for calling. We are happy for you that you left Islam. Thank you. All right. All right, guys. Our time is up today. I have things to do. I hope that we have a good time and we learn something good. And I'm happy to see more and more Muslims leaving Islam. Trust me, we don't hate you. Our Lord, the Messiah, our Savior, He ordered us to love every one of you. But in the same time, we love the good of you, not the evil. We don't love evil. And we are not approved to love evil. And we are not in love with evil. We are not lo in love with killers and criminals. We are in love in the good of God on you. So let the good of God on you work on you. If you are a person who believe in good, if you have the sense of goodness, be good for God. He wanted us to be good. Doesn't matter what your religion is. If you are a Muslim, try to be good and ask yourself how you can be good, but yet you are a Muslim. How you can believe that you should hate everybody around you, but yet you can you be good. My Lord, he brought the good of me and the good of him. He said to me, love your enemy. Bless those who they are cursing you. The Muslims who they are calling me, cursing me, doing stupid things for me in Skype, I cannot curse you. Even though what you are doing is stupid, I feel sorry for you. You are not insulting me, my friend. You are insulting your own. You are insulting your own kind, your family. When you are a person who show his penis, supposed you think you are insulting me. That is showing me that you are equal to a donkey. Donkey, he don't hide his penis. Same as you. So be happy with you being a donkey, not a human. We are a human. Thank you very much, everybody. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, maybe tomorrow, Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And this is a Christian prince was with you for today. See you soon. Bye-bye.